you find anything exotic, bring it to me. Welcome back. Hope you're all doing far better than I am. <laughs> uh, let us kick off with a battle. Hello, it is Sphere. It is. Well done, Sheba on first, Iori with last, Dupe with second, Meaty with awesomest. No alpha today. Yeah, Media's right. Um, the build for this week for alpha doesn't have a whole lot that I can really dig into properly it, it'd be like half an hour of exploring the island like that's that's about it um factions have been released the only real way you can interact with factions is by you know doing stuff for them which is you know spoilery um there's a new dungeon um and there are talents which i'm bad at so that's fine uh <laughs> yeah unfortunately there didn't seem to be a whole lot that we could really get stuck into um there are a couple of things that they've added to the UI and uh, yeah, and all of the zones are available so you can go right from 60 to 70 and like you can level all the way up and test the whole thing. But um, I don't want to do that for obvious reasons. Um, so yeah, it's it was just a bit too, a bit too much um, for us this week, or well, for me this week. Um, well done on third, Dunno. Hello, it is Fia. Good evening. Fluffy hair. Yeah, um, there is, there is, um, <laughs> my hair is hiding my secrets. Uh, you know what they say, um, big hair is full of secrets. But no, it is, there's a heat pack here, because my neck is fucked. Um, my neck is totally just completely, totally screwed. Um, I, I, I don't know what I, I think, I must have just slept funny on it, but it hurts, like, a lot. And this is, I think, the third, fourth time I've heated it up today, I've taken pain Oh, and it just ain't it just ain't <laughs> but it is also I did wash it and then brushed it and it kind of went boof so it's just got a little extra oomph from the from the heat back um mushroom buns hello Haley. welcome on in no it's not sore neck that sucks it does it does uh it is what you it is you are not oh, Yari. excuse me I've had some coke no sugar today and so i'm a little bit burpy thank you so much for the raid much appreciated hope you had a fantastic stream well done you welcome to the raiders if you haven't been here before i'm fia it is lovely to meet you uh, i'm today doing some uh, some world of warcraft leveling because I have too many characters, and none of them are, well, 15 of them are the level at which they need to be, but the rest of them are not. So that's what we're doing. We are leveling. What the hell is going on with my frame rate? We'll figure it out. Wonderful. What's the worst kind of day pain? Can you get really sleepy a little bit? Just, just a little bit. The older I get, the more often it happens. Thank you for the cast of command, Sheebs. Welcome, Raiders, indeed. All the leveling. Yas. Hey, super. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well today. Customer mentioned you can follow them by clicking on their name. I should. I should. Is that a suggestion that I do that right now? I should probably do that. Oh goodness. The the only problem is um that occasionally, occasionally we get. I mean, I've got no issue with raids and runs. Raid and runs. Not none at all. I do it myself. Pretty much every single stream, I, I raid someone at the end and then dash off pretty much immediately. Um, but I always say hi, and I always like do the copy paste and all that kind of stuff, uh, as long as my computer doesn't completely flap out on me. But um, I have had a handful of raids where the person doesn't say anything; they just kind of drop the raid and then, and that's totally like it happens. You know, it is a reasonable thing to do. But if they don't talk, you can't click. Them. So it kind of, mm. I always, always recommend that, like, if any, if, if you are a streamer, you should never, ever just finish your stream. You should always raid somebody 
always. Um, and and you should always say something in their chat as well. Like, it's the easiest way to network. The easiest way to network. Um, and just cutting off a stream is, like, there is literally no benefit to it. Like, no benefit. Um, so, yeah, it's, um... You are welcome but here. sometimes you can't. Sometimes you have to hit the thing and then run and do whatever you need to do because you're running late for something or whatever. But, yeah, it's a... It's a thing. Hello, Zarin. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. Let's forget leveling right now too. Should I finish my rogue? Yes. What level is your rogue so far? Me, watch your streaming. Keep leveling. Majority of the time, I notice the reader at least leaves some message. Yeah, most of the time. Most of the time. The later it tends to get, um, like the later it gets, uh, the less likely they to leave something. But that's yeah. Where's it's Castor, isn't it? Alright, enter building. I'm molting everywhere and every so often I'll just feel something tickling a hand or something. I'm like, what is- oh, it's hair. Good. This is exactly what I wanted. 60 for just to Ah, powering oh, through Revendreth. Wonderful. Yeah, all of my more recent tunes I've been doing through threads. Um, there were a handful at the beginning that I did through the regular thing. But then once I realized that if you flip to threads, it marks all the quests that you would have had to do as complete, so you get all the transmog and everything from them. You don't get the gold, obviously, or the XP, but you get the transmog, and so I no longer cared. I was just like, okay then, I don't have to do it once through on every type of class. I just, I can just I could just go. Uh, and so yeah, I've been I've been threads of fating ever since. But I do also have 33 tunes. That are currently not 60. So, you know, that's just a few. It's just a couple. Uh, but I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. I did a spot of leveling yesterday because I was too broken. I was so sick yesterday. I was just not at all well. Uh, and I managed to, like, I, I sat up and I did a zone and then I went and had another nap and then I got up and I did a zone on another tune and then when that like I was uh, that, and I got I did two like that's it nothing nothing more than that but like I caught up a little bit I'm now what day is it 21st I'm four days behind that's not bad it could be so much worse it could be so much worse the air was once rich with anima like it was dust Think of leveling. I've only got five left to go from 48 to 50 on the account I'm trying to ditch. Next comes hitting 60 with them all. Well done, you go, meaty. Look at you smashing it. Hey, Anim, welcome back. I'm I'm doing well. I'm in pain and I'm like totally zonked, but beyond that, I'm I'm doing pretty well. Hope you I hope you're well. You're doing better than I am. D60s, yes, we have fourth, don't really do old slot. My first max level wearer, fantastic! It is it is always a good idea to have one at max of each uh each armor type, hey. Especially if you are a collector type person who likes doing all those bits and pieces. Having those tunes to be able to farm that stuff on is quite handy. I've got 15 at 60 at the moment. 15 at 60, 2 at 57, 6 at 56, 16 at 55, 9 at 54, and I've got 2 at 51 that I'm not going to be leveling any further because they're going to be deleted for evokers come DF. 164 levels to go. Jesus. 
Hello, Matterhorn. Thank you so much for the resub. I hope you're doing wonderfully well today. Thanks so much for your generosity and support. Oh, there we go. Ding, ding. Better than well. I know, right? It's a bit that way. <laughs> oh, shit. It's 163 shapes. Yep, make that 163. And so many of them are like this close to dinging as well. So I feel like it's actually a, a not tons less than that, but a, a handful fewer than that. But we won't, we'll get there when we get there. I'm going to be first on my server for um, number of volts. Like on DFA, um, the highest person on my server has, I think, 30 something volts. And when I get to 48, I'll be the highest by a handful. Uh, turn 56 is today. Well done. Congratulations. Levels from last time we had. I know, I'm not doing too bad. We had, I did, um, when we did the time walking uh, on Friday, I specifically targeted tunes that could have, well, could, could ding through doing that dungeon. Uh, I actually, I did a couple that didn't ding. And then I was like, nah, bugger this. <laughs> Where's one that has a percentage where I know that I'm going to get a level out of it? Um, just because it... Just because it helps. Uh, blaming Shiba for giving out unnecessary information. <laughs> Love it. Excuse you, it's not unnecessary. I mean, it is. It doesn't matter how many they're going to go. It's, 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 I'm still going to do it. I have 15 alts and I'm fifth on Zaofang. Above me, there's a 22, 24, 27, and 35. So when I get to 48, I'll be 13 higher from the next person down. And then DF will launch and I'll be back at one with most other people. I think it'll probably be at some point in that first fortnight that I'll go through and level the um, evokers though. Even even if they just get to 60, not not all the way to 70, but just to get them through the starting zone so that I can get them out of there and start like using them to the spreadsheet and shit. Peasants. <laughs> all of us, we shall all be peasants. God, it's like the start of an expansion is such a beautiful time because you have one goal. Get your main to max. That's it. The only thing that matters is get your main to max and learn what the hell you're going to be doing for the next two years. And then... Have you been keeping up with your ritual? And then once you hit max, everything just explodes. There's so much to do. There are reps to grind. You there are professions to level. Today. There is a tune to gear. There it just... There's, so much to do and everything just goes to hell. Uh, however, um, I will be taking a couple weeks off work. I've already notified my employer uh, that I plan to take two weeks off for that launch. Um, now we just need the, the, the date to be officially announced. Like, we've got the leak, I know that. Um, but I don't take time off work based on leaks because that's silly. Like, that's just, it's not confirmed. <laughs> Um, the only, but I also am lucky enough that I work in a small enough company that, um, like, adjustments can be made as long as I've got a bit of notice. Like, I don't have to give seven months notice to be able to take leave or anything. Some companies are a bit like that. Yeah, it reminds me that my old screw is going to take a hit when I delete this account. It will. It will. But that's okay. How do you serve the Margrave? Uh, same. I wait until there's an actual date in before I put any in, in for any time off. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. Um, just because, like... Okay, so there's an in, there's info that's been leaked. We don't necessarily know when that info was decided upon. That could be six-month-old information, and they might have changed their minds since then. It could be completely inaccurate. It could be, like, a... a uh, 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 like a red herring situation like we, we just don't know it may well just it may well be completely accurate and that is exactly the plan and hey presto but we don't have enough inf we don't have enough information to make that determination uh and so 
I, I don't feel comfortable making decisions about my own life based on maybes. Um, based on information that hasn't been confirmed. It's good to, like, I, I adjusted my spreadsheet with my goals, my weekly goals. I adjusted that to match the leak information. But that's because that doesn't really matter. Like, it's not, you know, like, hey, I need, I moved my deadline up. Oh, no. <laughs> if, if that information is inaccurate, it doesn't really have any bearing on that anyway. It's okay if that's wrong. Um... Whereas taking time off work is kind of, and I don't really want to screw my, I know like, I know having a delay screws people over a bit, um, but going to them and saying, hey, I want these dates off and then going to them and saying, hey, you know how I had those dates off? Turns out there's been a change. Can I move that to this date instead? Doing that once is a whole lot better than doing it a bunch of times. Or like, you know, doing it once because, hey, the, the leak date was wrong and then doing it again because there's a delay and that it's just, I, I would rather put my employer through less shit if, if at all possible. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a thing. Uh, have you done any looking into the new rep system for DF? No. I actually haven't, um, which, uh, I am very curious about it because um, reputation, so my usual thing when I am in a new expansion, some of you who were here for the Shadowlands launch would have seen how I attack a new, uh, a new uh, expansion. And I do this pretty much every expansion, but um, usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll hit max, uh, I'll have a group that I'll be running with. And once they're all max, we'll go through and do each dungeon on Mythic because it's a weekly lockout. If you can get them done, it means they're done and you don't have to worry about it, especially considering that most of the people that I was playing with would take time off as well. I I believe Jas is going to be taking some time off work, not two weeks, because he can't really afford to do that. Uh, he doesn't get leave, he's a casual, and that's not how it works here in Australia. Uh, but um, I, I believe he's planning to take a week off and then I'll have two weeks off. Um, so that first week we'll be able to level together, we'll be able to do all the dungeons together, we'll explore and learn and da-da-da-da-da-da, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then the second week it'll be, okay, it's the Fear show now, what do we want to do? Let's go get those achievements. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so usually first off the bat is um, obviously ding, get yourself to max. Uh, then it's go through and do whatever you're capable of in terms of dungeons. Um, usually it's do every dungeon in on Mythic. Um, because that gives you the best shot at the most gear possible and getting yourself geared up for raid and stuff like that. Uh, plus having gear just makes other content so much easier, both to get into groups because they see an eye level and because you hit shit harder and so world quests are done faster and things like, because you're doing more, da like literally, because you're doing more damage, things die quicker and you get the world quest done faster. Uh, I like being geared. It's a good feeling. It just, it makes me feel more comfortable in the open world. Um, once that's done, it's world quests. Reputation is my first protocol after doing all the dungeons that I can. Literally every single day, I would log on and clear every world quest from my map and then look at what else can be done for the day. Um, because that's like having those reputations done, it's a one-off thing. The faster you focus on it, the faster it gets done and it unlocks things like in the past, as soon as flying's available, you've got it because you're exalted with everyone already. There's no kind of, oh shit, flying's out in two days and I'm not revered, blah, 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 blah. It, it just doesn't happen. Um, and having those reputations unlocked often unlocks other bits and pieces where, the, where like sometimes it's transmogs, sometimes there's actually bits of gear that can be quite helpful, especially if there's that one slot that will not drop for you. Um, reputation gear can help with that kind of stuff. Um, and, and recipes and unlocking little fun features in, in other areas and stuff like that. So yeah, so I'm, I'm really curious to see how the reps are going to work because that'll probably be like one of the first big things that I focus on, um, getting those, uh, exalted reps or whatever, the, whatever it's going to be called now, um, crossed off the list. Um, it's, it has been shipped. Yay, Yuri. Amazing. So happy for you. Uh, same way until there's actual date before we push the time off in. Let's know the changes they're making. Not sure if it counts as a spoiler, even though it's just the system. Um, I would say it is a mechanic thing. Therefore, it's not a story spoiler. Um, 
be be overly cautious with what you say maybe like i i like yes i would like to know um but i obviously don't want like Reporting spoilers and stuff like that so if if the thing is oh you have to kill batman's parents to unlock this particular part of your reputation grant grind then obviously i don't want to you know what i mean like i i yeah i am being overly cautious here i know that but i think it's worth being overly cautious rather than being like oh yeah no that's fine oh shit i didn't want to know that um but i i trust you in your judgment so um yeah, if you reckon you can explain it to us as like a purely mechanical based thing as opposed to anything that actually involves what our players need to kind of get, you know? Yeah, I trust you. Do the thing. Right, oh, I get the button. Uh, decision process for taking time off launch. Is it school holidays? Yes. Yay. No. Oh, no. Yeah, look. <laughs> I, I know there are also some jobs that are completely rigid with when you can and cannot take leave, which kind of sucks. I mean, I know that you, like, technically, I think the way it works out, you get more leave than we do in a, in a regular year. It's just that you can't pick when it gets to happen sort of thing. I know that you do still work over school holidays. I, I'm aware of that. Um, and I know you also work redonkulous hours, like, during school term, like, before school, after school, over the weekends, all that kind of stuff. Um... But I th yeah, I think that is that not like maybe one of the kind of trade offs is you get more leave, but you don't get to pick when to take it. Excellent. A new test um, subject. Uh, always brings Martha and Thomas Wayne into this. The reason I do that, dupe, is because it's like uh, another one that I've used in the past. Batman seems to be the one that I keep going to these days, but another one that I've used in the past has been Darth Vader. Um, it's, it's a spoiler. But it's so old that it can't really be called a spoiler anymore. There's so much other media out there that references it as it, like, you know, we're, we're so far past the spoiler territory that it still definitely would have been considered a spoiler, but not anymore. Uh, but those are, those were my two, my two go-to regulars, but I seem to be going back to Batman far more frequently lately. I think it's because I'm talking about it so much that it's, like, just the same one sticking in my head. It's funny, hey? No, yeah, that's it, that's it. If you are fast <laughs> the four main factions won't say the names, of course. Uh, those names have been plastered all over everywhere, like in official Blizzard, what's it, and stuff as well. I have seen them, but I appreciate you not uh, mentioning them in case people are quite literally avoiding that as well. Um, so they're renown based instead of traditionally. So you don't get like points towards a renown level, you just get a level of renown. Does that also mean it's time gated as fuck? Does it mean I won't be able to grind out a good chunk of it in the first two weeks? By the way, Mr. Seven didn't believe the Vader thing when he first saw it. <laughs> Aww. That's so cute. I keep forgetting this is a caster and I have to stand still to mash my button. I'm very good at this. first on my connected realms as well if I can get to 48. The highest there is only 35 as well. But the highest I'll get in on US is 22nd. 20 so at the moment of course that could change. It's not too bad though. Um, from the looks of it, you still do collect rep points, but you gain renown instead of friendly, honored, etc. It comes with rewards for each renown too. That's really, I mean, we got rewards for friendly, honored, blah, 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 blah as well. If they wanted to do it that way, they could have just made it friendly, rena uh, friendly, honored, revered, exalted, and put rewards on the vendor that, that were one copper. That could earn, do you know what I mean? That's really, that's really interesting. One renown level requires one carry up, doesn't look like some more time getting the traditional. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Cool. That also means no Paragon cases. 
unless once you hit max renown, every 10k after that becomes a paragon cage, same as... Interesting. Okay. I'm not angry at that. <laughs> I have enough stuff to get from Paragon Caches that are already that I would not mind not adding more to that list, but um, it, that's interesting. Interesting. Uh, they wrangle most public holidays in school holidays to avoid giving us any extra days lol, but yes, we're expected to work during school holidays, especially the short breaks. We have long service if we want other time off, assuming you haven't spent a chunk of time in this school. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, I've, I've been at jobs where people have taken long service leave, uh, and I've also, like, there are some, uh, in Queensland, there's a particular union, um, I don't know if it's just construction in general, but they can basically, they earn long service leave, not with the company, but, like, with the union kind of thing. Like, they can take their earned LSL from job to job, because I think they recognise that construction in particular is such a volatile industry where you'll have a company pop up and build a building and then the company will fold and you have to move to another one. It's like they, they do stuff like that um, all the time and so it is really it's really really difficult for a construction company to be in existence for 10 years um, and a lot of those jobs are contract based and all that kind of thing as well so if there aren't any contracts they just cut everyone loose sort of thing uh, and so they carry they, they earn LSL they like they submit their pay slips to, to whatever it is and they accrue LSL that way. Um, which is really, really interesting because I remember we had, when I was working at my last full-time job, we had a person who took long service leave. Um, but they'd only been with us for like two and a half years. And I'm like, how does that even work? And so my boss explained it to me and I thought it was a really funky idea. But um, I, I don't think I'll ever actually take, unless when I move to Melbourne, my current job lets me work remote two state, across two states. I don't think I'll ever end up taking LSL. Um, because I've never been at a job for 10 years. I mean, I'm 32, that'd be pretty impressive given the number of jobs that I've had. Um, I could, I could definitely see myself working with this company for that long in a, a, a part-time capacity. But that would rely on a few other external factors. Working for yourself, you don't get LSL. So, <laughs> fun facts. Um, one faction caps at 20, one caps at 25, two caps at... That's weird as hell. I wonder why... I don't like that at all, just personally. Um, not because, like, I, I do like that the cap isn't 80. Um, and I do see those caps... Like, it, it gives them the flexibility to bump those caps up in future content rather than needing to introduce completely new factions, which... I like that idea because uh, I, I tend to have a lot of difficulty grinding up a faction that's been introduced in a later patch. I don't know why, it just, it, it is difficult for me. Um, just, I guess it's the way that I play. Um, so it does give them, it gives them that vertical growth so that they can have just the four of them and keep going. But I don't like that they're not the same. I like consistency, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Interesting. I'm really interested to see how it goes. Sounds like a more fun way to rep grind. As far as I will go, the rep talk. Think we need idea. Of course, where comments want to immediately come out. Of course, of course. Uh, and I understand why. Um, it would be not. I think. I think what would be very cool. You know how at the moment we have that whole. Uh, if you have a tune that's already at 80, you can get a token that will boost your alts to 60. I think that would be a good thing to have from the start. Because it is that letter of introduction that we've spoken about before. If you've got two completely separate people coming up to you, and you know one of them really, really well, so much so that you would call them exalted. Like, oh, I, I love this person. They're so awesome. They're so great. They've helped us out so much. We've showered them with rewards. Who the fuck is she? <laughs> but having the awesome person come forward and be like, hey, nice to see you again. This is my super lovely friend. They want to help you out as well. Is there anything that they can maybe help you with? And because you have that referral, because you have that connection with that person already, then maybe they'll be less distrustful right at the very beginning. 
So I do, I do like, cause that you can work that with RP. I understand one of the big things is that this is an MMO RPG. It is a role playing game. And you do in a way need to retain that core role playing aspect of, of the game, right? So having that option there where you can go and buy, it doesn't jump them straight to max. It doesn't jump them straight to exalted or 20, 25, 30, whatever. But maybe it puts them to 15 or 10 or something just to say like, hey, I, I refer this person to you. They're a good egg. I hope you'll find use for them, kind of, you know? I feel like that would work from a, a role playing perspective. And have it, I don't see, I don't see that that, I don't see that being a bad thing from the beginning either. Um, I think that could very well be something that you introduce, especially if it's going to take you a like a month or so to get to uh, 30, let's say. Depending on how much rep you need and how much rep is available to get each day and how much you get through playing the storyline, da 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 you know, all that stuff. Um, having that available from day dot would not necessarily be a bad thing. I think it just really depends on... Um, how much of a benefit you can get from that faction. Because if the faction, like, if the faction has some ridiculous weapon on it, that's a huge upgrade over even some of the quest stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, it could be, it could be a little bit tricky that way. Trying to make sure that people aren't overgeared too soon without putting, a, like, a little bit of effort in. But I, I think, like, boosting them to 10 isn't necessarily a bad idea. And then, you know, in, in patch 10-1, if that goes from 30 to 40, then maybe instead of going 10, now it goes to 20, that kind of thing. Just giving you a head start. Not a, not a it's done, but a head start. Oh no. We need more units, more friends. Um... Demanding work too, yeah, absolutely. I'm, so, I'm assuming you're talking about the construction stuff, super. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And so, like having that exhaustion of jumping from from company to company to company to company, especially when there are people who will set up a company, do a contract, and then shut the company down. But then the same group opens another company, and it's like, well, why can't I transfer my credits? It's yeah, I think that's yeah, not a not a great. Alyssa is great, awesome. Used to do that within government departments in New South Wales. Still do in limited ways. Knowing lead time between working for state round Department of Ed while I was at uni, and I couldn't count it as it wasn't continuous. Oh, damn. That sucks. All right, Orc Slayers. I should place my Orc Slayer so I can get that down cracking. Place your units! Uh, I could definitely see them adding some sort of catch up with this new system. We've had small versions of catch up in the past two. Yeah, we've also had really big versions of catch up too. Like, jumping straight to 60 renown while doing Threads of Fate is no, no small. Like, all these tunes that I'm leveling now with Threads of Fate and having that 60 renown item, none of them are going to be not 80 when they hit 60. None of them. They're all going to be bang on max. They can be higher than some of the tunes that I had, that I did through the regular what's it. Like, you know, that's, that's, <laughs> that's huge in terms of catch up. That's so useful, so handy. And that's through no extra effort of my own. That's just from doing what I need to do to get through the levels. Really, the system takes less rep to reach max than it does in the current usual. Go, cool. awesome. That's really good. Well, that's one of the things that I liked um, about the friendly, honored, revered, exalted system. Is that you only actually needed revered to get anything done. Um, revered was what you needed to unlock. Like, you needed revered with each of the factions to unlock world quests uh, in, in BFA. Um, and you only needed that on your main, obviously. And getting to revered was pretty much just doing the storyline and, and a couple of side quests or whatever. Um, Revered is what you needed for flight. Uh, revered is what you tend to need for... Revered is what you needed for, for unlocking um, allied races when that was a thing. Uh, I'm pretty... Oh, was that? No, maybe that was Exalted. I think it was Exalted. Never mind. Um, ignore that. But yeah, like, Revered was kind of where you needed to get to. And that was actually pretty reasonable. If you did all the quests in the zone and then spent, like, a week making the effort to do the world quests, you'd be easily Revered. 
Um, exalted was what took time and effort and focus. And, uh, but Exalted was mostly for, like, cosmetic stuff. There would be maybe a weapon on there, but it'd be a weapon that was not as good as what you could get from leveling, like, from questing or leveling. Um, so it was mostly just for the transmog piece. Uh, there were mounts, there was a tab, there were pets, that kind of thing, but they're all cosmetic for the most part. Like, battle pets, I understand that battle pets are not cosmetic because you can use them in battles and things. But it is a site, it's not a, a system that's tied to player power. So there was no, there wasn't any real player power tied to being exalted with most factions. There were a couple, don't get me wrong, uh, but most of them, it wasn't. Um, so it was kind of the, the fancy cosmetic tier, having them at exalted. Um, but then with the introduction of Paragon Caches, it kind of became a thing where, oh, I have to put the effort in because there's all this fancy stuff that comes out of the box. So it is usually where the mounts are. Yeah, but mounts are cosmetic too. Like, mounts are purely cosmetic. Your first one isn't. Your first mount is functional. Every mount beyond that is cosmetic. And of course it makes the data look prettier, but don't, most people don't seem to care about that. Weird, right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to testing out the new system, um, and I hope that it gets- I, I know that I'm not testing it, uh, but I do hope that others out there who are willing to experience the, um, the, the spoilers Hi, and stuff like that, I hope that they do some good testing and put in some good bug reports and stuff. Hello, Josh! Space Cowboy, thank you so much for the gifted sub! So generous of you! Congratulations, Cthulhu! Welcome to the Fianati. Thank you so much for that generosity space. I hope you're doing well today. But yeah, it is It is a, a very interesting shift. I'd be keen to see what kind of... What's oh, squirt day tomorrow? Um, I'll be really interested to see what kind of... Um, rewards we'll get at each tier. Um, like if it is going to be stuff like we get some extra stamina or we get uh, some cosmetics or we get a title, or we get pets, mounts, etc. Um, and if there are like if it unlocks our bonus story stuff like it did for the covenant stories and things. Um, that'll be really interesting. But only, only time will tell because whatever's on alpha at the moment I mean of course a lot of that might be placeholder, but a lot of it could be, you know, what is intended as well. So we shall soon see. The armory is at your disposal. We shall soon see. You are not. Ah, oh, Edry. Hello. Welcome on in. I hope you had a fantastic stream. Welcome on in, everybody. I'm Fia, if you haven't been here before. It's lovely to meet you. Uh, today we are doing some leveling, as I have lots of characters, and out of the 50 of them, only 15 are 60, so we're trying to we're trying to change that. You're all having a brilliant day. Thank you for the casting one, Shiba. What do you reckon of my alteration? You happy with that? Hello, Apollos. Hello, Edgy. Hello, Misa. Welcome Raiders, indeed, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you, Edgy. Um, sore and tired. I have a heat pack on here because I, I must have slept on my neck funny or something. I don't know, it just, it hurts and I don't like yeah, it. But, beyond that, I'm great. Like Hello, Ghosty, welcome on in. First time chat. Hope you're doing well. In the Sticks Yellowstone interconnection is non-existent, but yet here we are. I hope everyone's having a great evening. You too, Space, you too. Love the alteration, perfect, I'm so glad. Thank you for your feedback. Good morning, Mike. To bear the torch of Good morning. Use it to light the braziers that call the great houses to the arena. If you are fast enough to do so. Ah, the best night playing Among Us. Oh, wonderful. Brilliant. Yeah. 
so much backstabbery. Yeah, look, I can oh, I can geez. only imagine. I think I've played Among Us once. We had like a, a bonus stream that we did, and um, it was the only time I've ever played it, and it was just, oh my god, I was so bad. I was so bad. Got a plan? Hi, the sun well. Win at any cost. Ah, space. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Edry. Much appreciated. Ah, the magic of it when silencing one of the dominated guardians into a Ah, I like this. I shall do it again. Ease. Ease. Congratulations, Edry. Congrats. The air was once rich with anima. Like Those awesome emotes. Hell yeah. I love my emotes. I really do. I've got a couple. You look um, I know, I know there are a few people who want a Fiamma dead, and then I had one pop into my head Hi, the other day, and now I've forgotten it, and I hate it. Space! Thank you again for yet another gifted sub. So generous of you. Amazing! You Congrats, Apollos! Congrats, Fia, Fia, please. What? What? Fear what? Oh! Didn't you know about Fiamma Dead already? Or are you talking about the other one that I can't remember? Probably that one. What was it? Yeah, I don't remember. I had this whole idea in my head and now it is. Have that one before it is scuppies. I want that one. Yeah. What was it? And um, now I'm trying. It won't come to me. I remember it. There we go. I think she was happy now. <laughs> Chia. Oh my goodness. So generous of you. Okay, look, I'll sh look. <sighs> the only problem is that last one, I feel like that'd be more of a follower emote, but I don't think we have any follower emote slots left. I'd have to change things up. Because I don't, I feel like that one's not really applicable anywhere else. Oh no, we do. We've got two, we've got two follower emote slots available. So that last one I reckon we could put there. If I'm a dead, we could probably make a bits emote though. Um because we're running out of slots elsewhere. Unless oh, I don't know. Look. I don't fucking know. We do have a lot of slots, but I Hmm. It would def, def be nice. Yeah, I, I have, I have like 11, 11 bits emote slots open, but four of them, one of them is like, a, so when, when it comes to bits emotes, like bit, bits tier emotes, um, you are, you have a slot unlocked and then when someone gets to the point where they've unlocked that one, it unlocks the next one. So you're giving people something to aim for. Uh, which makes sense, right? The problem is, uh, a, like, a long time ago, we had a person who just did some did some crazy ass shit with with bits. Um, so, I I can put in a bits emote to be earned by cheering six hundred thousand bits. 
No one is at that tier, but that's the highest slot I have available. The highest slot somebody's actually at is 500k. And there's one person at that, and one at 400k, and one at 300k, and one at 200k. We do have three at 100k. But I don't know if any of them are still active. And then there's three at 75k, four at 50k, 14 at 25k, 21 at 10k, and then 30 at 5k. Uh, and then we've got 92 viewers who have cheered 1,000 bits minimum, and that's where the guns one is. So a, a decent chunk of people have access to that one, but the rest of them, it, it drops off pretty safely, which is to be expected, which is to be expected. Um, yeah. Do you want to buy some of the Boba Tea female sponsor? Aw, that's so sweet of you. Are you... Are you in a location where they won't ship Apollos? Or are you still just saving up? Well back. Oh, fantastic! Well done, Edry. Well done. 600k piece of cake. Cake is a lie. They high slot two, only one person can access it. 600k is a fuckload of bits. One moment, please. So that's 600,000, right? So 600, one, two, three, divided by, so that's, that's 6,000 US dollars that this streamer earns. That's not how much the person cheering spends because of course Twitch takes a cut when you, but Twitch takes their cut when you purchase them. Um, so it depends on how, obviously, depend, if, if you buy a massive pack of them, Twitch gets a lower cut. But if you buy just 100, then Twitch gets a bigger cut, etc. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's an interesting. It's an interesting. Ah, um, oh, you're great. Okay, everyone should be hit 600 k right now. Not everyone has that kind of cash. I mean, I don't have that kind of cash. Uh, so I definitely do not have any judgment there. But it's it's kind of like you know. It, it is it is interesting. Um, the different ways that you can get it. Like, you've got your follower emotes, but then you've got tier 1, 2, and 3. I know that there are a couple of people in my community who absolutely, the only reason that they're at tier 2 or tier 3, it's not because they want to support me more, it's because I put a fucking emote there, and they wanted that emote. <laughs> so, like, I know that that, and then having bits tiers, there are absolutely people out there who go, oh my god, I want that emote, and so they'll, it's literally purchasing an emote. Like buying access to that emote and especially considering that it's a one-off purchase as well like when you do when you buy a crap load of bits and then you cheer them and you get access to that emote you never have to interact with that streamer ever again um versus if you want to hold on to your subscriber emotes you've got to stay subbed it, it is a really it's a really interesting sort of yeah you know it's an interesting mechanic Um, I do like that uh, we're able to incentivize that kind of spending. Because, I mean, that's, that's for majority of, of streamers, that's how we make a big chunk of our income, is, is through support. And if you have an incentive there, like, if, if people feel like they're getting something back for it, sometimes that can be enough to, like, actually convince them to do it. Sometimes people really want to support, but they can't justify it. But then if they get something in return, it can tip the balance. So, I, yeah, I get it. I get it. Uh, Polos and I are on the West Coast, USA. They go. Well, they do ship to the US. Aw, Nims! Thank you for the biddies! Enjoy your new emote. Thank you so much for the support. And Edry, thank you for the biddies! Oh, that's so sweet of you. So sweet of you. Oh dear. May I tempt you with my wares? Oh dear. What oh, is there anything good in DF today? Skip it to a voice. Well, it's just ah, oh, we skipped it. We skipped it. Um, the stuff that's up for testing today, you've got every single zone, so you can level from sixty right through to seventy. Uh, and there's also your factions that are available. Um, monks have their talents in there as well and there are a couple of ui updates and things like that and a new dungeon but none of it was really none of it was 
uh, stuff that we would usually check out because of the spoilery nature, as you said. So we, we skipped it today. But that's okay because I do need to spend some more time um, catching up on the leveling. So that's good. Still my mini personal project out of pure fun and enjoyment to get you updated in HQ versions of the original emotes I did. Um, so... If you are fast enough to do so. I'm looking at some stuff for Pax Sheeps that I might need. Those. I might need those. <laughs> um, obviously, like, if you've got enough commissions on your plate and stuff like that, then then obviously not, not a high what's it thing. But I've, I've been looking into a couple of things that I can have to give to people at Pax uh, and spending a, a bit of dosh. Uh, on on that, um, I did reach out to the graphic designer and asked her about rates for doing a uh, business card for the the digital one. Um, so that is in progress. Uh, but there are some other bits and pieces that I've been looking at for ages. But I finally made a decision on okay, like this is what I'm gonna do. Um, and I think I think it might be kind of nice. I think it might be kind of cool. And now I just need to figure out how many I should order because I'm not, it's not like I'm expecting, you know, hundreds of people to know who I am, but I also don't want to run out. I don't want to have like 10 and then have like 12 people show up to lunch on, do you know? Like I, that's, that'd be bad. Uh, and I can always like, if I order too many, I can always like do them to, like I can send them out to people who are not uh, able to attend PAX for whatever reason, um, and just look at, you know, maybe like I can send this to you, would you mind covering half the postage or something? Do you know, just like something like that, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, I have eight of these now, whoops, that's too many. Uh, <laughs> oops. Um, if you're off to bed, no worries, rest well, thank you so much for swinging by, appreciate you. Yay, bubble tea, yes, love bubble tea. Can't really send bubble tea. I mean, you could, but it probably wouldn't be very nice by the time I got there. It's pretty speedy, nice to do a warm up and cool down. If you need them, I packs easily slip them in. Like I said, there's something I know I've been wanting to do. So I'm gonna listen to no Okay, let me know if if it's something that's gonna be intense enough um, that um, payment. Let me know if you want payment. Good. Obviously, if you just like, if you look at the project and kind of go, actually, yeah, this is something that I need to, I need to be paid for, uh, hit me up and we'll talk about it. Um, I'm, you know, I can always, you know how I'm, I am the queen of budgeting. It is a thing. So, uh, especially if I'm going to be actually using it to, to do stuff and things with them, um, having them bigger is usually better. I'm, I'm not sure how, um, how well I'll go having an emote stretched out to the size of a, a pillow or something. You know, it's kind of, it's, yeah, sometimes. sometimes. I hate reading and running, time, bedtime for us here. Yeah, no worries, rest well. We can't get a Paxi's allergy to Melbourne. Yeah, correct, exactly, exactly. There are there is such a wide variety of reasons why a person may not go to PAX. Um and I don't I, I don't like the idea of people being cut off from something that I offer because they can't go or don't want to go or something like that. Um Obviously there are like I, I'm not gonna be able to travel around the country and the world going and having picnic lunches everywhere. That's not something that's viable. But if I have like a little thing that I can justify what did you handing say? out, then um, maybe I can get enough of them to sort of figure it out. But we'll see. We'll see. It's my fee modes. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. If I want full paid vacation to back. Look, if I could afford it, oh my lord. Sheebs, if I could afford it, you bet your fucking ass I'd be flying you and Rump and Kiwi out for- you know, you know. I would love 
one of my one of my like ultimate dreams is to be able to like sit down and and recreate you know the like the meme photos you get of um of like the last supper and people recreating that whole kind of with with my mods like that would be fucking amazing i'd love that love that um but i feel like that's a that's a win the lottery kind of level <laughs> So this is a good GoFundMe for fear watch. <laughs> oh dear. Pretty sure it's against the rules of GoFundMe if you're setting it up for someone without their knowledge. Just FYI. Please no get trouble. Please, please no get in trouble. You're a mage, just make portals. Yeah, but I'm not a mage IRL. This is the problem. I wish. My lord, do not, do not you worry. I wish I could, but um... Really close to ding again. That's nice. <clears throat> Still looked into your own packs anyway. Like I went to Melbourne for AFL Grand Final transfer there. And you missed a meeting there as well. Hope you get around once your action kicks in. Not this year. Oh, for sure. For sure. Like, and look, packs is not. I I like. The last packs I went to was 2019, and I had I had everything booked for 2020, and then it didn't happen. And then they just they didn't even bother trying to plan 2021, you know. Like, but I I've had the money there, ready to go, since since then. So this is like I understand that going to packs is not something that a lot of people can just do on a whim. Like, it is definitely something that requires planning and it requires budgeting and saving up over a legitimate period of time. And there are so many people who I know have learned about PAX this year through me blabbing about it. Um, and so I, I, I don't feel like those people would come this year because it is such a big, it's a big thing. Um, so, yeah, no, I'm, I'm expecting that this year will be kind of... I think like there there is a part of me who thinks oh my god this is going to be huge this year because of all the people who weren't able to come the last couple years but then it's also a bit nerve-wracking because this is the first year of it with our new, with the new normal yeah, you know and a lot of people won't be won't feel safe traveling just yet and stuff like that so honestly i feel like this year is going to be kind of chill it's going to be good and exciting and all that but it's also going to be just slightly sort of not quite as as it as it has been in the past I reckon next year, once once people see that Reed can put on a successful show, uh, and once people go, okay, yeah, no, I, feel, I I'm good with that. Let's save up for next year. I think next year will be fucking explosive. Um, so yeah, I'm. Look, next year is gonna be ridiculous because I mean this year, this year is gonna be ridiculous. Next year, next year, there's a chance that I'm living in Melbourne. Next year, there's a chance that I'm a full-time content creator. Next year... Who the fuck knows where any of this are going to be next year? And isn't that something that's exciting to think about? <laughs> yeah, dupe, right? Yeah. Oh, dear. I'll lend you an ear. <clears throat> Sorry, I found an article. Um, so for anyone who has not been to PAX before and hasn't heard of my explanation of PAX Rising before, 
Uh, Pax Rising is a segment of the the floor, so you, you, it's it's an exhibition, right? It's an expo, um, and so you have booths. You have you have booths. You have some big booths and some small booths, and then you have some big areas that are made up of tons of mini booths. Uh, and when I say a mini booth, I mean like a, one of those little circular, like semicircular tables with a big thing behind it, and then there's another one, another semicircle on the other side of it that's had by somebody else. So it's like a mini booth. And Pax Rising, that's what Pax Rising is. It's a whole bunch of those mini booths that are held by indie developers, uh, and a lot of them are award winners. So a lot of them um, will apply to be a part of this whole thing, and then they're like chosen uh, in, in pretty much competition style to see who's going to actually partake in Pax Rising. But then separate to that, they have some that are not mini booths. They're, they're a bit bigger than that, but they're still not like regular size booths. They, they're booths, they still share a space, and it's called the Indie Showcase. So basically, Pax Rising is all these indie games, these little games that haven't necessarily been released yet. They're still in alphas or betas or testing or, or some kind of thing. Um, they've got a demo you can play, pop your headphones on, play through the, the you know, couple minute demo, take off the headset, pass it to the next person and have a chat with the developer who's literally standing right there about what you liked, what you didn't like, all that kind of stuff, give them feedback on their game. Um, and th so I found an article that has the uh, the winners of the um, indie showcase. So the, the top, like when everyone applies for this, you have like your five that like win and they're, they're the ones that have the bigger booths. Um, if anyone knows of the game Ring of Pain, uh, it's a card-based... I think it was a roguelike. I did play it, I just don't remember what the definition of it was. And it's beautiful art style. Uh, and they won, they were there in 2019. Um, and they had, like, just about to release. And when they did release, it was just huge. It was a massive launch. Um, uh, I've got a reason to go along. Um, the packs it was always a Melvin. Did you enjoy <laughs> I'd only raise the dead because they'd be. Oh. Hello, Barry. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Next year, Lydia should have his accreditation. Yas! Amazing. I forget where the heck I put Seeker's face. Never mind, found her. What? Hello! Oh, it's battle time. Um, so they've got six digital games and four tabletop games that have uh, that are being featured um, for the Indie Showcase for Paxos 2022. There's Tempopo, Topple Pop Bungie Blockbusters, Rooftop Renegade, Box Knight, Gubbins, uh, and Repeller Fella. And then the tabletop games are Yumcha, which I'm like, excuse me, what? Uh, the Score, Pixel Star Frontier, and Aethermon Tower of Darkness. Oh! So Tempopo is from the game from from Witchbeam Games, who did Unpacking, which that was a beautiful game. Uh, comes something completely different. A, compl a contemplative puzzle game about planning and execution. <laughs> in which you restore a harmonious garden by rescuing musical flowers across sky islands. That's beautiful. Topple Pop Bungie Blockbusters. Multiplayer game, physics-based multiplayer puzzle game. Here, let me, let me show you this. There's a flashbang. Oh no, Silver Shadow V, Loza, Meaty, and Floundering. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Done. We're heading for that skin chest. Rooftop Renegade. It looks like Super Smash Brothers. Um. Um. Box Knight. Imagine if the office was thrown in a blender with Lord of the Rings and South Park, and the resulting product had a Castle Crashers style video game adaptation. Oh dear. That's essentially what you've got in Box Knight from We Made a Thing Studios. Oh no. Gubbins! It's a word game. Friendly puzzle game. Players place tiles to construct words with the help of an end hindrance of kooky little friends called Gubbins. Roguelite word game. Oh, that's cute. Repeller Fella is a point and click. With a dark sense of humor set in a post apocalyptic Oz. Ooh, 
Yeah. Ah. Uh, yep. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's super cute. Yumcha, a tabletop game about Yumcha. We're already ordering seconds. From Quokka Games comes a cute little gate card game themed around the popular Chinese brunch for two to six players, featuring adorable anthropomorphic delicacies. Yumcha is a straightforward game where players make simple decisions to devour their favorite dim sums and fight for the honor to pay the bill. That's adorable. These all look really cool. I'm so ex I'm so excited. All right, cool, right. Okay, what am I placing? Not an Orc Slayer because I can't uh, place a Rogue. I'm so excited. Like, God, there's so much I want to do at PAX and I feel like I'm never going to get all of it done. But I mean, that's every year, so that's fine. We need heavy artillery Sushi when I played before? Yeah, look, there's, um, what do they say? There's nothing new under the sun. It does look really cute though. I wish I had a decent setup to stream tabletop games, honestly. Um. Maybe at the, maybe, maybe when I move to Melbourne and I have a new place, I can uh, set up a thing and like have my, my family members come over once every couple months and play some tabletop. So she go, yeah, I've heard of that one. Right, so I just hit 56. Beautiful. We're at 60.86, which means I have made another day's worth of progress. Yay! And I'm now less than a percentage behind. Finally. Slain far stronger foes than you. I have been slowed. Just like this. Oh, there we go. I'm done. That was quick. be in combat with the big one. This way, I hope for the best. Not so much. I don't know what I've done to my neck, but it just... <laughs> uh. is wrong. I don't think I've updated for a while. Yeah, wow. It's out by like 27 levels. Holy cow. Okay. Um, so I'm second on Zalfang at the moment. Let's update everything. Damn it.
that's gonna take a second for it to go through and update all 50 of my tunes. Um, that's fine. At least the number will be accurate then. God, I'm so excited to be done. Um, by the way, did you all know, I discovered a new, I'm sure that you all bloody know about this, but I discovered a new feature of ATT today. I'm certain it's not actually new and that it's just new to me and I've just missed it somehow. Um, but you can type ATTWQ as in World Quest and it will print a list of every World Quest in the game active currently that offers you something that will improve your score. So I don't know about it. You you don't use ATT yet, don't do you? Would that not explain it? Do I know you? Or you do, but you're you're new. Because I know that you've like you're only just sort of getting back into it all. Don't know about it. You, but you also you look you. you have it installed. Beautiful. Okay. Well, there you go. Now there's you know a thing you can do with it. But yeah, like if I type in ATTWQ, that's not a Q, that's an S. And then you click update world quest now and it locks the fuck up for a second. Um, and it shows you like I can go to Antoran Wastes and do Void wa uh, Warden Valsaran because Valsaran drops a bunch of stuff I could use. Group Finder is annoying and silly, but that's that's fine. Um, how, like, how cool is that? So yeah, I'm... Uh, I was pretty impressed with that. Did not know that was the thing I could do. Learned today and was like, oh my god. Because I still don't have the 10,000 world quest completed achievement. Is it because it's there and annoying? <laughs> it's telling you all the bad things and you don't want to know. So cool things I don't know. Neither did I, don't know. I'm like, oh my god. So I figure like when I get around to one day working on the 10,000 world quests achievement, Cause I'm, I'm like, I'm getting there, but it's still like, I'm, there you go, 7,643. I'm, I'm still a few grand off having that done, but that's a really good way I can do it. You know, I can like, I can jump onto Fia and I can work through any world quests that she has that could offer me something. And then I could jump on the next tune and do the same. And then the next tune and do the same. And like that way I'm, it's like, I'm not just doing world quests for the sake of world quests. I'm doing, I'm, I'm actually getting other ATT, ATT stuff out of it as well. Um, I do have, uh, I do have this one up here, um, I can't remember what add-on that is, but I do have an add-on that tells you, like, and you can, you can choose to track your own stuff, like, if you think, if you decide that anima is something you want to target, it will tell you if there's any anima world quests up. Or if there's any world quests up with conduits that that character doesn't know yet, or that kind of thing as well. So yeah, it's um, there are a few out there that do it. Final Fantasy fourteen just banned the mods that do damage data and stuff. I wish I had all these plugins. Yeah, I that is that is the one thing like because I'm so collections focused. There is a lot of stuff in the in-game UI to help you with getting all that stuff, but not. It, it not a way that makes it easy to figure out what task to do. Like you've actually got to know, okay, I want to fish. What is available through fishing that I haven't got yet? Where do I go for that? And then even then you have to go, do I have to go to this one? No, can I get anything from this one? No, it doesn't like target you did. Like it doesn't make it easy for you to figure out exactly where you should go for stuff you don't have yet. Uh, and that's, that's the bit that's missing for me. Oh, I've only had it for a few weeks since first seeing it on here. That's a new one on me. Thanks, you're so welcome. Like, ATT Random was the one that I used to talk about a lot that no one knew existed. Um, but now I found a new, new thing that I didn't know existed, and I'm very happy about that. I'll use it as a list for stuff. You will. One day. One day. You've got. I think you've got enough on your plate for now, though, Duke, right? You're getting there. You're getting there. I just want to know stuff without going to a website. Yeah. I, I feel that. The more information you can have in-game... Like, yeah, I, I personally find that quite convenient myself. 
So I had any data for Azeroth last time. Also, quick browse for means I'm now 14 mounts up. Hey, yas! That is, that is one of the best things about DFA, is that it just makes it really easy to figure out, wait, hang on. 97% of people have this mount. Why the fuck don't I have it? And it's because it's, not, it, it's, it's just a vendor mount, but it's on some obscure vendor over here that you wouldn't have even thought to go check. But yeah, it's, it's great. I really love that aspect of it. Hello, Nab. Welcome back. Two tunes of 60. Just gearing them up mostly. Fantastic. That's so good. Hope you're enjoying it. Hey, Jemmy. Have you been? I'm doing really well. I am, at the moment, I'm quite sore. I've got a heat pack on my neck because I must have slept on it funny or something. Uh, but overall, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. Hope you can say the same. Dragon turtles just needed to roll a panda. Yup. That's it. Uh, the dragon turtles are pretty awesome. Our forces require aid. All must serve the call of the Necro Lords. Got water bottle on my back at the moment. Yeah. It's a bit that way, hey. Uh, all the time walking stuff. Is it in X pack order? Yes. As it cycles through them, it's time walking every three weeks. One, two, three. Yeah, every three weeks is time walking, and it does cycle through an expansion order. So because it's Legion at the moment, the next one will be BC. One after that will be Wrath, etc., etc. It is, yeah. Makes it easy to figure out what's coming up, though. Look forward to BC Wrath is in my dungeons. Yep. So that'll be. Um, we're gonna do it on the 9th of September, and then the 30th will be Wrath. Um. But that's also Brewfest. 30th, 30th of September is also... There's two weeks for Brewfest. I do have a plan to do Brewfest on a particular day. But you guys know how my plans have been turning out lately. Apparently companies just want me to do sponsor streams. Like, what? Look, humble brag. Um, but <laughs> so I do... I've got... Um, I do have a Brewfest stream penciled in. And then I've also got a Wrath Time Walking stream penciled in. But because Brewfest only comes around once a year, but Wrath Time Walking comes around a handful of times a year, if I still need stuff from Brewfest, that is what I will do. Um, that that will take precedence over uh, Wrath Time Walking. Um, and I do have, like, there, I've got so many tunes who can just go buy all the rewards. I'm pretty sure I'm done with most of the rewards from Wrath. Um, so, like, it's not... It would just kind of be a fun thing to do and maybe get a, a squeeze a bit of uh, XP out of it. It wouldn't be a, like, I need to do this because there are rewards anymore. But we'll see. We'll see. I would like to, though, because I really enjoy doing time walking dungeons with you lot. It's like, it is a lot of fun. It's cool that Brewfest practices a few of the mugs in his bank. Yeah. Yeah, I've got, I've got a couple. I've got a couple. Back in the day. Uh, but I actually realized that I have a ton of rewards that I don't have from Brewfest. Like, a ton. And I'm like, what the hell? Why am I missing all of this stuff? And then I realized I'm missing it all because it's Transmog. And I only really started getting into Transmog fairly recently. Um, so that's probably why I don't have it yet. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try my bestest to, to get all that done this year. Wolpertinger, yes! Still have the remotes. Perfect. But yeah, most of it, most of it's transmogged for me. Uh, but hopefully uh, I have enough tunes that I can just like power through a bunch of them and uh, and just get all the rewards bought. Um, and I know you can do the delivery thing uh, to get extra currency as well. So that's... Um, yeah, it's a pretty unique event in that particular aspect.
Remind me what the delivery thing was. Um, so there was the uh, ram racing, basically. Uh, there was a person, like a goblin, with vats, of, like barrels of beer at one end, and there were apple buckets. Um, so that you could reset your exhaustion on your ram, because the faster you go, the more exhausted you get, and then if you max out your exhaustion, you go like in a crawl for a few seconds while you recover. Uh, and so the idea would be that you'd go through a particular route and hit the apple buckets right on the time so that you'd go max speed the whole time and you'd run and you'd get the barrel and then you'd run back and turn it off and you'd hand it in for a coin and then you'd run back and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until your ram expired. <laughs> um, so you didn't have like a set number you could earn. It was It was just limited by like the timer on the ram and how efficient you were at hitting the right spots. It was good fun, I enjoy it. Goes up and down the hill through Karanos. Uh, it might have been. I Most of mine was done in uh, Durita, so I'm not too sure uh, about Karanos's route. I know there was one um, I know there was one, but I don't know what the what the route was. We go. This is the last section of Draxis. All my tunes on DFA have been updated too, so my um, total level should be slightly more accurate. It won't be completely accurate because Everything I haven't logged this character out since she has dung, but uh, it'll definitely be more accurate than it was a few minutes ago. Yep, cool. I'm only two off now. So it says 2818 and I'm 2820. And I have gotten two levels on Ulina, so that makes sense. Good thing to recognize, dude. Yeah, it's a bit. Look. It can be a little bit tricky remembering to change that kind of language sometimes, hey? Like, it's, it's a good thing to recognize it and then, like, correct yourself and. and that and make an effort to not do it next time but I mean like a lot of um a lot of the stuff that I do you know tracking all my data and having all these spreadsheets and all that kind of stuff um growing up uh and then you know throughout my 20s before we kind of recognized how harmful that kind of language was right um I mean because it's always been harmful it's not that it, back when it was okay that's it was never okay it's just that we now recognize how harmful it has been. Um, I, I was referred to all the time as not like I didn't say it myself, but other people would say, you know, oh, she's a bit OCD. You know, she's a bit like she has to have things a certain way and she has to, you know, like all of her spreadsheets are just so and things are color coded and blah, 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 blah. And so they they would make light of it and refer to me as, as being mildly OCD, which I'm not. I don't I don't have that diagnosis or anything like that. Um, and when I, I tried, uh, when once I recognized that that language was not okay, um, I tried finding other ways to describe it because it's, it for me, it does feel like it's a little bit more than just, than having things just so. I am very particular about quite a lot of things. Um, and uh, then, you know, you, a lot of people use the phrase anal, you know, like, oh, they're, they're a bit anal retentive about it, or they're, they're anal about it or whatever. But, being a female on the internet, you can imagine how that sometimes went for me, and I, I didn't want to invite those sort of comments. Not that that should be considered an invitation. You know how they say cosplay is not consent? Well, you know, saying that about myself shouldn't invite people to make comments about that kind of stuff. But anyway, people are assholes, so we go with it. Um, so it, it can 
sometimes it can be a little tricky because you you do want to make light of a situation because it's like oh yeah i have some terrible memories about that <laughs> but it is all like you do also want to recognize that it was they were genuinely like they those memories affected you in a way so it can be it can be quite difficult to like break those habits and find words that ac accurately describe what you're trying to convey while not being harmful. It, it can be quite difficult. But it is interesting. It is, it's definitely, uh, there have been a lot of situations recently uh, where I've kind of recognized that some of the language that I've used regularly in the past uh, has been harmful. And so I feel like it's almost pushing, pushing me to be more creative with my language. Cause it, you could almost view it as like in, in terms of trying to find new ways to express yourself. I've found it to be kind of almost helpful to refer to the old ways of saying stuff as being lazy with my words. You know, calling someone crazy. Well, that's lazy. It's overused, isn't it? It's also harmful. But like, find something more interesting. Bonkers. Bananas. Like, fun stuff to say that's also less harmful but still gets the thing across. And I've, I've actually... I'm starting to find it quite fun to find alternate words to describe what I'm trying to say. Uh, and so many words are so fun to say, genuinely. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting journey. Journey through language, or as it were, three languages in a trench coat. Things people tend to, just tend to joke about lately, people are noticing more and more people to deal with. Myself, I actually do have a noticeable stutter. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. This stuff is unpleasant. I wouldn't call it trauma though. No. No. Not to say that a video game can't be traumatic, because it absolutely can be. But, um, Brewfest stuff is more of like a... There were, honestly, there were some levels of that ram racing thing with Rufus that caused me genuine anxiety. Like, like, where's the number? Where is my exhaustion? Where's the next bucket? Oh my god, I got caught on this thing. And then I lost a second of trans- like, a, a second of movement time, so am I gonna make it to the bucket? And yeah, look, it's... <sighs> I, I think calling it anxiety-inducing is both accurate and okay. <laughs> Personally, others may not feel that way and that's okay. Personally, I, I actually found it anxiety inducing. Uh, what happened with Brewfest? Oh, just the, the memories of going through and doing particular parts of it. In particular, the, the ram racing where you had to like keep your speed on max, like mashing, mashing the button to like crack the whip or whatever, wh whatever it was to get the ram moving faster. But then you had to get to the Stay buckets while and listen. to like keep your exhaustion low. And then you got to get to the other end and get the, the, the barrel. And then you got to get back again and toss it off for a coin and then go back again. And like trying to make sure you hit that route perfectly on so that you didn't miss any buckets, but also didn't like, oh yeah. You get caught in a fence one time. And that's it, you're done, finished. Uh, hello Seeker, delightful weekend. I have been totally and utterly destroyed. I was exhausted yesterday. I could barely like do anything functional. Uh, today hasn't been much better, but I'm, uh, and I'm in pain today. I've got my wonderful, beautiful heat pack because my neck is twinged. I don't know, I think I slept on it funny. Um, but look, I'm, I'm alive and that's, that's step one. That's step one. How are you today? I both used to call Mrs. Heath coming blanket her crazy blanket after a while we shifted away from calling it that. That's fair. That's fair. There are there are some phrases that I use to describe some of the things that I have and that I experience and go through. Um, there are some names that I give those experiences that are incredibly private to me. They are things that I would not say anywhere else or to anyone else because they're not, um, they're probably not like 
super appropriate. However, they fit my circumstances. They are, they are words that I've discussed with my psychologist and um, I feel that, that using these phrases to describe my experiences on a personal, private level helps me rationalise them and helps me kind of recognise them as part of my experience. And personally, I think that that's okay. Uh, I'm not encouraging, I'm not, as you can probably tell, I'm very purposely not explaining what those phrases are because they're not for your consumption. They're for me. Very rarely I'll use one or two of those phrases around Jas and he'll look at me like, what? And then I go, oh, right, of course. And then I, because that's how internal those phrases are for me. It's, um, there's a, uh, one of the, one of the things that I learned how to deal with, um, like negative, uh, thought patterns and, and all that kind of stuff many, many years ago, um, was to, to name the story. Um, so, you know, if, if your, your inner voice is saying, oh, you're not good enough, you're never going to succeed, blah, blah, blah. It's like the, oh, it's, it's the, it's the, you're not good enough story. Um, to kind of, to help you put that thought process in a box and separate yourself from it and be like, oh, this story again. Look, we've heard this, honey. We, we know, we know how this one goes. That sort of thing. It's, it's one of those, um, methods you can use to handle that kind of, well, at least it was part of my toolkit. Won't work for everyone, of course, uh, but it did help for me. And, uh, and so some of those blah, blah, blah story, like that phrase may not be entirely politically correct. Um, I'm not, I'm not using slurs. I'm, I'm using words that I feel truly e explain that experience for me personally, but it's not a diagnostic, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and I honestly, I feel like that's okay. I mean, it's helped me it, like measurably it's, it's helped. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I think I really do feel like it, it it depends on as most things context. As most things context. And uh, raise with you secret when you on position. Yes, absolutely. I would describe the deliveries in Rufus pretty much what people do. But deliveries I have to deal with. Yep, I know, right? How ridiculous. Gift in mod chat, what? Done. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just saw your DM. I haven't seen the mod chat yet. What is this? Oh my god! Yes, I remember this. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so cute. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, Matisse of Borderline Colour. It's wonderful. I'm glad. I'm glad you've been enjoying your gaming. Uh, so Chill evening. Yeah, for sure. It's on the screen. <laughs> it is indeed. I, it depends on what you think it is. I'm not 100% sure. Um, all right, so are we putting this at... We're putting on this on tier one with... For you, it is an emote. Um, putting this on tier one with the, like, the Sheeb's emote and stuff like that, yeah? Yes. And what did we end up saying it was going to be called? Okay, cool. Um... Yeah, it is perfect. All right. Um.
Um, you should have a pending thing, Sheeps, uh, on Twitch. Fresh is not going well. Um, I can't see anybody talking. Give me a minute. Quick! Oh my god. This takes a while. Should be there, but it's not showing up. Um, I know I am. I'm. I am, and it's not there, even though I've refreshed. I think it might just be because it's the. Um, uh, because I do chat through OBS. I think it's just not catching up fast enough. Like, come on, this is where I make my income. I know how to use the platform. <laughs> like. <laughs> see it perfect all right as long as you see it then that's what matters um i just i can't and i think i think it is just because obs is being a dick um but that's fine that's fine Alright, that sh should. should be fine. Alright. Click to continue. Here we go. Back on board. May I tempt you with my way? Um. Zika, perfect. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Eventually. Uh, several times. Yeah, it might it might just be a time thing where it's just said because I literally just did it. Um, it can take a minute to show up. Um, you might need to give it some time. They're like, yay! Fantastic soup! Congratulations. Baby, tuna, na, 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 baby, tuna, na, 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 na. And this one. Action. Okay. <laughs> Good. I'm so pleased that you're happy. Yay! Amazing. Yeah, so Sheebs, I don't know if it happens immediately or not, but remember when they first introduced the um the artist what's it? Wherever you found those to approve those, you'll need to approve that one new as well. Because every time I upload something and I attribute it to you, you've got to say, yes, I actually did create this. Um, so that's uh, uh, that'll be something for you to keep an eye out for. What mode crew grows, it does. It does.
Yeah, I remember it was. Um, yeah, I'm... I am not entirely certain. <laughs> it might be in your notifications thing, like in your inbox, you know, like where you have, oh, your subscription to such and such has expired. Maybe that'll be where it is. You may also need a refresh to be able to see that too. I'm not sure. I've never been attributed as an artist. So... The other thing is if you if you cannot find it, the artist attribution help article might be able to tell you. Oh, you found it? You got the request. Oh, interesting. Well, I definitely tagged you and it said pending. Um, so... It might just take a few minutes to go through. And I mean, that makes sense. Like, I literally just uploaded it. Um, so many people actually need, like, approval. They, they pop their upload their emotes and they have to go through manual approval. Uh, but I've earned myself automatic approval, but doesn't mean that everything, everything happens instantaneously. It is clear. You deserve only on it. Perfect. I mean, like, I, I don't lose much. Um, <laughs> if, if you don't do, like, it, all it means is that if people click on it, it doesn't say that you're the artist. Until you approve it. So, no massive rush. Yeah, there's a measure to sit down work on the revamped ones, yeah! Tell me Super what you cute. This has been a total All blast. Good. I'm so pleased. You know how important it is to me that people enjoy the work that they're doing. That's, that's wonderful. Everything is negotiable. Okay. Stop that. Why? Fine. It's fine. Battle Hunters, congrats, mid. Well done. Well done. Amazing.
State your intent. It is an honor to bear the torch of Hey Loza, welcome back. Use it to light the brave. Hope you're doing well. All the great houses to the arena. If you are fast enough to do so. So welcome, man. I knew you would return. Your skill. I knew you would return. Your skills will lead us to victory. All right, turn this in. Everyone has to start somewhere, right? Stay sharp out there. Head back to Arbos. Still being a dick. That's fine. Um. Oh, you need Dylan Halston. That works too. It's all worth it for Tuesday. Who's running lesson today? Oh, wonderful! I'm so pleased. It sounds like a lot of fun. I've not exercised these last couple of days. I feel like crap. Saga is best. Agreed, Chin. Agreed. There are a couple of the the Shadowlands intro. Um guide in particular if you're not doing things in a particular order when you're doing threads of fate it does that it just cycle like it, it gets stuck in a completion loop um and it, i can't figure out where you're up to but that's okay like nothing we can't fix manually but uh, it just gets a little bit kind of oh no but yeah i love my zygor i've been using it for god over a decade now it's so good hello chaotic welcome back and also welcome back to you Chin. God, what is with my frame rate lately? Oh my goodness. So we're going to go turn this in and then we're going to switch tunes. I'm so close to ding, but I'm not starting another zone. Um, I've been noticing, so Maldraxxus looks like it's pretty much exactly two levels. Um, like right on like 54, about to hit 50, uh, 55, right the way through to 56, just before hitting 57, uh, which is kind of cool statistics wise. Just crappy and horrible. No, uh, that was Dalaran, which I know it's I know it's Legion time walking at the moment. I think it's stuff running in the background for me. I don't think it's a. Although there were people who were saying that their frame rate has have been crappy since nine two seven hit as well, so that might just that might be it. Uh, it might just be something running in the background that's what leaking. Do you bring? God, who knows? Until we speak again, I will consider your words. There, you go. there we go. All right. 56. We're done with this tune. We are going to jump to an Alliance Hunter, Lucille. Ah, oh, Zyra is why I need to drop an account. It's worth paying for. My budget doesn't allow for both accounts in Zygor. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, it depends on what world quests drop, I guess. It could. Lucille. Uh, with a Y as well, instead of the I, because I spell the names funny, because otherwise I can't have them. Uh, but that was actually a random generated, randomly generated one. Uh, she's a mechanome. Uh, it was randomly generated with the Y and everything. Um, but yeah, there are some super cute names in the, in the auto-generators. There she is! We hop. Slowly but surely. I remember when I hit 50% and I was like, oh my god, and now we're at 60% done. We're getting there.
think I need to do three tunes to get a percent. Two tunes on one account, just make all these every three days, and some between them. Those passive 500k mark is for seven goodies. Uh, fortunately, not everyone has time to do that many tunes worth of callings. Like they're not they're not super slow, but they're also not super quick either. They are they are a little time consuming, especially if you log in on a particular day and it's in three different zones. But that's okay. Everyone plays their own way. Part of games, right? Play what's fun to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Only wrong way to play is to tell others they're doing it wrong. Is it when you get Admiral calls for aid type quest? Yeah, that's, yeah. Um, I don't think I'll have, oh, I don't have uh, access to it yet, but there's the section here. Um, but they are, yeah, they're your callings. Um, I believe part of your, like, the very, very early Covenant quests um, introduce them to you and the NPCs call them callings. Uh, so that's what, that's what we, we call them. Some accounts become superfluous, almost finished, stay classy, only really needed two accounts because there used to be a single server tune limit that was too small for me. Mm hmm And now there ain't one. You can have all 50 tunes on one server if you really want to, hey. Great items that vend for, and for a lot, they do, they do, and a chance for other shiny things, depending on how progressed the tune is, and what collectibles you're still missing. Fifteen just trying to join the to finish those off. Fair. Head up between my lips, almost as bad looking for a phone that's in your other hand. Yep. Yep. Or glasses that are on your head. It's great. It's wonderful. Exactly, there's maybe the ones I'm keeping and deleting the rest. Sounds good. It's so exciting, maybe. exciting like when I went through and deleted all of my little random characters here there and everywhere it felt kind of oh like once I deleted the first couple and like ripped those band-aids off it started feeling better started feeling easier deleting tune after tune after tune after tune but having them all where I wanted them oh it's a really nice feeling just it feels so good oh all right, off we go to Maldraxxus again. Uh, it's like me this morning, always in my coffee cup, left side of the desk. All right, this morning, 40 minutes looking for it. Oh no. So much fun to play. Three accounts and a and a new EU account. Well done. Goodness, yeah, I don't, I don't have time to play that many tunes far out. That's pretty awesome though. Any morning shopping? Enjoy. We'll see you again soon, I'm no doubt. Greetings. Oh. oh, we're good. Let's let's hit that button. My bad. It's going.
Who's that? Who's that? Sand, meaty, and floundering. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. Oh, it's skin chest time. Amazing. Uh, okay. So I don't think I can place Slayer again yet. So I'll place another rogue. That plans. All right, I think we're good there. Back to here. All right. Uh, first few I was deleting were challenging. Got some Especially ones I hated leveling. I'm just on 100 levels in a row just to delete it. What the fuck? And I realized I never wanted to play it again. I was fine. Yeah. That's it, hey. That's it. The other thing is that you don't have a hack. Like, the ones. If you're closing off that account, you don't need to delete the extra tunes. You can just stop paying for the account. And it'll become inactive, but then if you ever, like, it is an honor to bear the want the account again, challenge. if you're in a different financial you position or whatever it happens to be, you can just reopen it and those tunes will still be there. You are fast enough to do so. so that's useful. Elegant power leveling guide. Something interesting I learned is that while at exactly level 50, the fastest way to get 51 is actually running solo islands. I can shave off a level in the Shadowlands. Brilliant. There you go. Yeah, I think uh, most of mine got to 51 by doing Lovers in the Air dungeon runs. Because <laughs> they were all 50, because they had to be for the mount. Uh, and then they all did their 14 runs each, so if they weren't 51, they were like, right close to it. Um, more two minute minute, you have to, you still have to start a new one, yeah. Excuse me. It's taken me years to work on this achievement. guild used to be like an actual guild so I'm pretty sure that's how I got that uh, I think we were missing one or two and so I leveled those ones up uh, but I didn't have to do the whole lot
You're choosing a group to speak with me. Ew, what if I just want to play? Yep. What if I just play more? Yep. I think the, um, caching a hundred thousand fish or something. There's, there's a particular guild achiever. I'm on Alliance now, so I can't check it. But there's a particular guild achiever. I'm like, good lord, that's gonna spend, that's gonna take, like, an incredibly long amount of time. But that's okay. Get that one day, maybe. About repairing 50k from the guild bank, yep. Ah, oh dear. But that's kind of like that's a passive thing. You can definitely get there over time. It's not, but you can't like actively work on it. I think that's probably the uh. The frustrating bit for me is ones I can't work on actively. I have to like just wait for it to eventually ping. Like the got my mind on my money, like the top, 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 top one. On fair, it just, it was sitting there taunting me for the longest time. And then it finally just triggered one day and I was like, oh, thank fuck for that. <laughs> the cycle has brought you hey, there we go, 55. Sixty-one point oh six. Oh, I've got another day's day of progress. I'm now two days behind. Amazing. Do I think has the option to switch it to default auto repair from the guild bank? Yeah, there are a couple of a couple of those ones, but yeah, all my tunes have got default to repair from guild bank because I've got enough. I've got enough gold in those banks that it's it's perfectly fine. Very, very useful. Especially if you're leveling a ton of tunes, you will chew through that 50k, like, surprisingly. Well, okay, not so much tunes, because you leveling, unless you're leveling with, do heirlooms have, they don't have durability, do they? No. And then most other things you repair before they, you, sorry, you replace them before you need to repair them. So that's, never mind. <laughs> Um, I have, we're gonna need a bigger boat, which is 25k, yep, 28.6 out of 50 for, like, shooting fish in a barrel. Beautiful. The emote thing automatically accepted. Oh, that's interesting. Did you set it to automatically accept requests from me specifically or something? That's kind of funky. Hey, Chad, welcome back. Going well. I'm in a bit of pain. I've got a heat pack on my neck because I, I also slept it off on me, but that's fine. Uh, but apart from that, doing quite well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. 3.5 on that repair bill. You'll get there. It just takes time. Eventually seems like something I do. Yeah, look. So it means I can just like, I can upload the dodgy Shiba paint and uh, and accredit it to you and it'll be fine. Cool, noted. I don't know, emotes and credit Shiba help confirm them all. <laughs> Defamation. Yeah, that's it, eh? That's it. Morning, hey, Slane. Welcome back. Going well. Hope you can say the same. Okay, exhausted as always. Oh, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Uh, I just literally you know, what I used was blocked. Huh. Interesting. I mean, I guess what me too. Me too, Trud. Thank you for the well wishes. It just, it just hurts. Um... Oh, I've had a heat pack on it all day and it's still just being a pain, but I will. Rhymes with heinous. I, I figured it might. The only problem with uploading naughty emotes is that, like, I it may it may be defamation on Sheebs, but I can get banned and I can have my immediate, like, automatic approval of emotes revoked and all this kind of, no, I don't want any of that. Not worth. Not worth it for the meme. 
not worth it for the memes. May maze, yeah. Not okay. Cool UI layout, thank you. Uh, it's LVI. Uh, I have lots and lots of buttons. Lots and lots of buttons. Alright, I'm gonna hit that hearthstone. Head back to the theater of pain. And jump to the next section. How many six did you have now? Oh, still the 15. Um, I've been leapfrogging them, so like lowest tune gets leveled, the next lowest tune gets leveled, the next lowest tune gets leveled, next lowest tune gets leveled. So they're all kind of leveling as a batch um, rather than like one at a time. So I've got the 1560s, uh, two at 57, seven at 56, 16 at 50, 55, and then, no, sorry, so there's an extra one, oops. Um, that 17 at 55, and seven at 54. So yeah, just kind of uh, leveling them all as like a batch. So basically I'm going through and doing Maldraxxus 33 times, and then I'll be doing Ardenweald 33 times, and then that should be at least close to done. Uh, most of them will only be in Revendreth for a very short period of time, because um, I'm pretty sure they'll probably all be somewhere north of halfway through 59 by the time I get through Ardenweald, but we'll see how we go. We'll see. Ah, uh, my button's more good. Look, I like it. I like it. Um, I like that I don't have to like open a menu and then go through a sub-menu and then click the thing. Like, I can just put everything on my bars. One-click access to everything. Um, but some people don't like that. Some people feel like it's too cluttered, and that's okay too. Has your weapon found a target today? Everyone is different. Everyone needs different things out of the UI. As always, appreciate a nice loud. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I like that it's like, it's minimalist, but it's not like I still have access to everything. Some people would argue that it's definitely not minimalist and that it's cut as hell. And that's Glory totally true. I am keen to see just how customizable they make the UI in DF though. I've been playing around with it on alpha. Um, there are still some things that I need out of it before I ditch LVI. Um, May I tempt you with my words? Like LVI is a huge add-on in terms of like memory usage and stuff like that, and so it would be good to ditch it. But um, I don't want to like ditch it and then have something that I need not be there. So yeah, we'll see how we go. It is an honor to bear the torch of challenge. Cool. So you said Lizzie, why? why uh, no one cares. Like, it's how you play. <laughs> no, no, like, literally no one cares. You, you do you, and as long as it functions for you, that's all that matters. I'm excited for Dragonfly, even less add-ons, more FPS, lower loading times, yas. Yeah, every time they make something baseline, every time they include something in the base game, I'm like, ooh. Ooh. It's a good feeling. Time for a spoiler reminder. Yeah, that, you're actually you're very right there, dupe. Um, so, I do have access to the alpha, um, but I've been only doing stuff that's not going to give me spoilers. Uh, if you're... Uh, it, it, no matter how long you've been a part of the community for, even if you joined today or six years ago, uh, if you click the cog underneath the chat box and then click view chat rules, you'll see that the number one rule here is no spoilers. Um, I have been avoiding spoilers very well so far. Um, if you spoil, you get banned. There is no, oh, I didn't know it was a rule. No, don't, don't be a dick. 
Um, we do not do story spoilers here. However, if you are really keen to discuss specifically story spoilers from Dragonflight uh, with the community here, we do have a channel in Discord where you can do that. It's discord.gg forward slash Fiyama. And the channel is called, wait for it, Story Spoilers. So you can head in there uh, and you can you can talk about anything story related to your heart's content. Um, but anywhere else, any other channel in Discord or in chat here will get you banned. Uh, just because we have a lot of the community, including myself, who are doing everything that they possibly can to avoid any information about the story beyond the fact that it involves dragons. That kind, I think that's kind of an assumption at this point. Uh, but yeah, anything else. I, and the reason for this is because I love experiencing it for the first time when it goes live as it's intended, the right, right, the right, right the way through. Um, no kind of like, you know, deleted cutscenes or placeholder bits or, or anything like that. Um, I, I want to experience it as the devs intended from start to finish uh, and be able to give you guys genuine first look reactions when I stream the, the launch day excitement. So yeah. It is, it, it is a big thing, so um, thank you for your understanding and your cooperation. So we're trying to avoid spoilers too? Brilliant. Yeah, so if you ever, um, whenever I do alpha streaming, I do put alpha in the title. It's the first thing in the uh, title in square brackets, all in caps, uh, and that's how you know I'm in the alpha, but do know that if I am doing alpha stuff, it's like professions, or it's, oh look, we found a dragon riding race. Let's give this a crack. Uh, or it's just running around in circles, like exploring the zone and seeing, you know, all the all the pretty flowers and trees and stuff like that. It's never been um, no dungeons, no storyline. I haven't done the the Drakthir starting experience. None of that. It's all been as spoiler free as possible. Which I, which is why I haven't done uh, today is usually the day that I do my alpha content. And then once we're done, like once we've exhausted the alpha content, we move into into leveling or whatever. But we didn't do it today because the new build this week. Is dark and full of spoilers. Um, oh, excuse me. There's there's not a whole lot that's been introduced in this week's build um, that I can play around with for a significant amount of time that wouldn't give us spoilers, so we avoided it. That's okay. It's just not my week. Um, it's been fun listening to you while leveling. 4:30 a.m. Oh no, rest well. We'll see you next time. Give you follow. Oh, thank you. We'll see you then. We'll see you then, Zuba. Enjoy your rest. Thanks for hanging out. This was here, Billy. Know what's going on in Shadowlands? Perfect. Wonderful. That's okay. I don't think we have no spoilers. I'm looking forward to playing Dragonflight. Fresh story-wise, yeah, me too. I'm, I'm so keen. So, so keen. I'm gonna take a couple weeks off work and, uh, and uh, full time it. Full time streamer fear. I have no idea what that means. Um, from belly sound used by multiple reasons. Huh? Oh, is it rare scanner? Was that what went off? Okay, it was perfect. Thank you. I was so cute. I'm like, what is this conversation? Where has it come from? Perfect. Yeah, most most add-ons for WoW will use existing, um, existing sound files and stuff. It just it adds less bulk. Um, yeah. Oh goodness. Look, it may well be like a stock audio file that a whole bunch of people have access to. <laughs> Just go with it. Mm -hmm. Yep. All sorts of fun add ons that alert me to different happenings.
Do you reckon we have five people in chat who aren't following me on Instagram? Because we're five off a little bit. Looking for supplies? That'd be pretty cool. I'd rather fight than talk. Victory for Meldraxis. Right, into the arena we go again. Yes, Instagram link. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated. the resub oh god damn it there we go ah, first ever actual sub oh no way that is amazing thank you so much for your prime sub much appreciated two months amazing super awesome some of these slimes, shall we? This is probably the most annoying one to like to be up while you're doing this quest. Constant knockbacks and stuns. Oh, wonderful! Thank you, Slain. Much appreciated. And you to manage to sell it for a week. You're not back to work until 30th. Well done. Enjoy your week off. Happy birthday again. See you next time.
Oh, I'm done. I'm like, where are the glowing weapons? There aren't any because I've collected them all. Fantastic. Okay. Onwards. Aw, oh, thank you, Snow. Much appreciated. What's for dinner tonight, everyone? I don't know. We were supposed to have salmon tonight, but um, the stores are out of salmon. So um, I'm not sure. We're probably going to just grab a, a, one of the other recipes for the week and replace it, but I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, it'll be just as cool. Whatever Jas feels like making. Uh, plus bubble tea. Doesn't have a choice on that one. Doesn't have a choice on that one. Oh my goodness. 1097. Three more. Three more to hit 1100. Holy cow. I still remember when we hit 1000 followers and it was just a whole thing. <laughs> it was a whole thing. Oh goodness. 1100 is like the next step, right? He chooses the flavor of the tea. He does, he does. Unless he comes in here and like asks for opinions and then you guys tend to choose the flavor. In the middle of prepping tonight, salmon, delicious. Yeah, we um uh, we tend to go for frozen fish and all out, all out. It was a huge thing, it was. We never rest, we keep on keeping on. Keep on pushing. Celebrate the wins while still working hard. Hard and harder. Who stitched you? For you, I offer only You look oddly hailed today. 1111 11 is the next milestone, right? Well, like, I think it's 1100 because I like those even, I like those round numbers. But Seeker wants to, Seeker wants it to be 1111, yeah. You knew here. But we can, we can do one then the other. Homemade burgers? Oh, delicious. Delicious. How can I serve? Kids had dino nugget and salad wraps. So cute. That's so adorable. The Psycon has brought you to me. We're all just meat for Chicken soup. Yum. All good and serving. Stuff. time. Get out of combat. Uh, Meaty V slain Silver Molly and Snow. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. Oh, did anyone get any skins? There are three and I don't have any of them. Did anyone get skins? Onwards to the next battle. Should 
my food sealer, unfortunately. I'll summon for the week. Ah, oh, well done! Well done. Being organized feels weird. It it definitely does sometimes. So I'm still just leveling. Yeah, I am. Leveling the healer. Missing some battle plans. No skin to me. Oh, no, me neither. Maybe next time. Hello, Danny. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Everything is negotiable. I'll lend you an ear. Point me. an honor to bear the torch of challenge. Use it, it to light the braziers that call the great houses to the arena, if you are fast enough to do so. Miss just stream it was a bit thinking it's Sunday. Wonder if he isn't streaming today. I realize I haven't even checked. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, look, the alerts definitely do help sometimes. Um, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, and even here on Twitch, um, you can turn notifications on and have them sent to your phone if you so desire. And I think you can customize that per creator as well. Like if you don't want a certain stream and notifications to show up on your phone, then you can turn that one off or on. Um, but I don't quite remember because I have as many notifications on my phone turned off as possible. Uh, I'm also glad you made it in, just like Duke is. I don't remember the in chat last month when they started theirs. I 
I mean, it all works out. Fantastic. Um, I will be honest with you. No, I don't remember. However, that is that is huge, regardless of whatever the conversation happened to be. That's great. I hope I hope that it works. I hope it helps. Uh, and of course, just keep in mind that if it doesn't, that doesn't mean nothing will. Uh, and to definitely bring it up with your healthcare provider. Because sometimes dosages make a difference. Sometimes the med itself makes a difference. Sometimes interactions with other meds makes a difference. Um, but yeah, that's that's a huge step on a journey. And I wish you all the best with it. Hello, Holy. How goes leveling today? Really well. Um, I've tipped over 61% on my journey, which is great. 61.06 at the moment. Um, I'm still behind. I'm a couple days behind, but not by much. Uh, when... Uh, when the leak happened with the potential patch date and the potential launch date, uh, I I adjusted my my progress, my milestones uh, to suit that. Just because, hey, if it is true, then at least I'm prepared for it. And if it isn't, I'm more prepared than I need to be. Fingers crossed, you know. Uh, so um, that put me, I was up to date when the leak happened. And when I made my adjustments, it then became, I was 10 days behind. Um, and I'm now you two days behind. So I've done I've done really well this kind of week and a bit to, to really kind of push and get there, which is which feels really good. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we'll keep, keep on doing the best we can. And if we make it, then fantastic. And if we don't, at least I'll be closer than what I was. That's what matters, right? Oh, you can usually just rock up here at 4pm on stream days. That also works. That also works. Oh, I've learned the fear never goes live at 11pm for me, so I don't feel guilty rocking up at like 11 30. Look, I've had some issues lately. Um, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to get better at that. I know it's not good. Um, I am I am trying. I promise. Um. When is the launch date? Ah, oh, we don't know for certain. There, there has been a leak uh, with potential dates, uh, but nothing has been confirmed by Blizzard. Nothing has been, like, yeah, we we don't we don't know. Um, it could be the real ones. It could be the planned ones, and it could still be delayed. It could be a red herring that's completely false that was planted to make everyone confused. It it could be anything. We we do not have confirmation. Um, but if you are curious, you can do a Google. Because uh, it'll pop right up. I know that there are some people who are avo avoiding that kind of information, so that's why I'm not mentioning it. Uh, doesn't have to be too prepared. I'm betting you'll make it. Or oh, look, look. There are there are some things coming up on my calendar that I am quite certain are going to put me miles behind again, but we'll see see. There's only one way to find out, and that's to get there and, and see what happens. Keeping in mind that I'm taking two, like, roughly two weeks off stream for PAX, and I also won't be able to, like, play um, at that time. It's not like I'm taking two weeks off stream, but everything else chugs along. Um, and... Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I've got a couple of potential things coming up on the calendar that would take away time from leveling as well. Look, it's all a bit fun. All a bit fun. Um, no news yet. There was a leak. It said October 5th, batch November release. They might change it now just to spite them. Look, maybe. I, I have a feeling that, like, you can't really run a business on spite. But, like, look, little things maybe. Leveling up a shaman and warlock. It's been two years since I played. There you go. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Welcome back. Fear busy? No, hard to believe. Yeah, look, fuck you. <laughs> oh dear. It's fine. It's fine. You guys are just gonna have to put up with like constant leveling streams uh, for like a month or so. Is this stream? It's gonna be a flow chart, and it's gonna be: Is this stream sponsored? Yes. Content determined already. No leveling. <laughs> That's it. Uh, 
Uh, nevertheless, you're nothing if not- Aw, thank you, Holly. Look, I try. I try. When I have a goal that I set for myself, I, um... I often can't stop until I get there. <laughs> Is this busy? No, it's totally fine. Totally fine, Holly. What made you come back, Garden? Um... Leveling can be done in so many ways, though I think that'd be fine. Look, I reckon, but I don't like leveling in all those different ways. I like my way. <laughs> Fear starts and only leveling. Look, you. Finally, just get shut up. You got fuck you. That's special, yeah. <laughs> the cycle has brought you. I'd rather fight than talk. Look. Oh man. I think I need sugar. I can't wait for you to get out of Magic Access Hate of the Zone. Yeah, I am I'm looking forward to getting cracked in like getting cracking in uh, Ardenweald. Bastion was actually really nice to level through. Um it's not my favorite zone in terms of aesthetics and stuff like that, but in terms of like doing it 33 times back to back, I actually really enjoy it. I came across a tune yesterday that still had the whole Larian and Phalanx section of Bastion to go. I still had and I was like, what on earth? And so I polished it off, and then I got into Maldraxxus and was like, ah, oh, I, I do really much prefer Bastion's flow uh, to Maldraxxus. Actually, you're not wrong. So they, yeah, Maldraxxus wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Look, it's not bad. It's just not as good as, as other places. Although from what I remember of Ardenweald, it was a little bit of a... Like, there were a lot of places of really high concentrations of mobs, and so if you wanted just one of those types of mobs, yeah, you'd end up killing a ridiculous amount of stuff you didn't need to attack. But I think that's what I really liked about Bastion, was that if you went into an area, everything was a target. It wasn't, like, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure when I get to the point of leveling that, so I should realize I'm going to avoid magic. So Bastion, I will have the best leveling experience I've ever had to repeat in Friends of Fatalist. There you go, all right. Noted. I didn't mind Revendreth. Revendreth felt a lot more like I was doing actual story. Like Bastion, it was kind of like you plonk down and you help this thing, and then you plonk down and there's this thing, and then you plonk down and there's this thing. Um, Arden, uh, the Maldraxxus is constantly just like kill everything all the time, everywhere. Um, Ardenweald, um, I haven't done in a while, but Revendreth definitely, it kind of felt like I was doing more story than anything else. It felt like more questing than killing. The bonus objectives didn't... It felt like there weren't very many of them or something. Or maybe I just didn't get to many of them. Enjoyed the whole finding the sword things there. Ah, uh, dragons. It's all about the dragons and seeing the storyline. Absolutely. I will just very briefly mention that we are a spoiler-free stream in terms of Dragonflight in particular. Uh, so, yeah. It's in the chat rules. No spoilers. Um, we, if you really do want to discuss storyline, though, there is a space in the Discord for that. If you jump into discord.gg forward slash Fiyama, there is a channel very specifically called Story Spoilers. Not just spoilers, it's called Story Spoilers. And that is your safe place to talk about storyline for Dragonflight. Anywhere else will get you banned. Because we are, we are a spoiler-free zone and, uh, we don't, we don't do that. Yeah. Mm. To hold it up for every sigil. Yeah, beautiful. My oh, this is the worst ammo. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm getting through it. We'll get there. Raven just felt like it was designed for 60s, if that makes sense. Like, they knew you'd hit 60 feet halfway through. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Not necessarily a bad thing, because you do. <laughs> you do hit 60 halfway through, and so then it's like filling out your starter gear kind of set, which is nice. Yeah. Hello, Lich. Welcome back. I want to see the storyline on launch. Yes, exactly, Garden, right? That's that's why we're a spoiler-free zone. Uh, I'm planning on taking two weeks off work. I have a day job, uh, but I'm taking two weeks off uh, for Dragonflight, uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hardcore. I'm going to full-time stream it. It's going to be beautiful and amazing, and I'm... Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. It's been a long time since I've been able to do that, so... Yeah. Oh, 
Wait for Dragonfly. Yes. So exciting. So sniffly. Pin on stop stream. Sleeps on camp. No. We've had that discussion. It's not happening. Oh, she's got my jewel and so ready for the new X pack. Good. Glad you're looking forward to it. That's awesome. Hello, Jack. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Week off, friend, co worker. We'll take the next week off to level. Beautiful. We need heavy artillery to repel our foes. Amazing. Help our troops ready our weapons. you sleep. Yeah, look. I try. I, it's not- I'm not very good at it. Your legend ends here and now! This for me. Yay, Lich! Well done! That's really lovely. I'm not even in the season four stuff repeating previous content though. Enjoy just chill leveling. Take care, Sam. Plus, I'm going to be doing dungeons between the also get the slime cat. Yeah, it is. Um, it's definitely an interesting concept that they're that they're playing with. Um, but I don't think I mind it. Um, I've kind of just viewed it as look. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Um, if I don't get the stuff, then I don't get the stuff, and that's fine. I've got like so much higher priorities than than gaming at the moment, so I kind of have to for, I have to put those first. Um, and if that means I don't get certain bits and pieces, then so be it. It is what it is. I couldn't even walk past two years of celebrating. Yay! Fantastic. Loving the mix-up, just this time to catch up on all the things I need to catch up on, really. Yeah, they definitely, they're definitely kind of trying to pull Beekle back into the game before the expansion, which is an interesting, like, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, people complain that there's not enough content. People complain that there's a content drought before an expansion hits. Well, you're certainly not getting a fucking content drought this time, are you? Not you, like, like the, the community at large. Um... <laughs> There's plenty to do, no one can complain about that, that's for certain. Uh, I wonder if there are any other words that can be translated like kick and lol. Uh, not sure, not sure, there's kind of, what was any old content? Yes, how can there be enough content for community but no life set for like an entire month on no sleep? I mean, vast majority of players don't do that anymore. Like, vast majority of players don't do that anymore. Um, the people who did do that back when they were in uni and high school and stuff like that now have children and spouses and full-time jobs and all that. They can't do that. Um, so yeah, the, the player base has changed a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. But there are still the vocal minority uh, who complains about not having stuff to do. And so Blizzard said, oh, you want stuff to do? Here you go, then. They even gave us reasons to do it beyond something to do. Uh, we go time leveling and level as well. No worries. Enjoy. We'll see you next time. Those kids. I still tap into my other form. Totally fine, but you are the minority. Like that's that's what I'm saying. The, the majority of the player base nowadays, is, like. I don't have kids either. I'm not mid thirties, but I'm getting there. And uh, yeah, but it's still. So a content creator, I'm in the vast minority. I 
I have no time to play the game outside of content creation, usually. But even then... I still play more than most people do. Looking for a fight? No. I mean, yes, but also no. Is there any data out there on what the proportion of the player base is old timers like us who got into it first few years? Uh, no, I don't think there is. Um, it, that kind of information is not important to shareholders, and so it's not something that they tend to publicize or publish. Um, every so often they'll be like, they had the, um, was it the 15th anniversary? No, 10th anniversary? They were a whole, like they sent out a bunch of statues to people who had been playing the game with no break in their sub for ten years since the since the beginning of the game, and I think there was a number floating around of how many of those statues that they made, but that was a while ago, um, and that's not that. Of course, that wouldn't be accurate anymore because uh, a good handful of those would have dropped off in the last seven years too, and, and all that kind of thing. But yeah, it's not like. That kind of information is not useful in terms of determining earning power and stuff like that, so it's not something that is really done. Because no one cares except for people like us who are curious. It's not it's not important. You know, on launch people turn into a different animal for a few weeks and it settles down for sure. Yeah, but again, not everyone can. Like a lot of people can. A lot of people manage to take time off work and all that kind of stuff. But there are a lot of people who are also casuals or people who work in a type of job who can't take leave whenever they like it. Um, and, and all that kind of stuff. Some people can't afford to take leave because they you know, they don't have a solid structure where they can take time off and still get paid and, and things like that. The, the population definitely spikes, for sure, 100%, but it's still not the majority of players by a long shot. Um, the majority of players will, like, consume the content while they're at work or whatever and like <laughs> through streams and and content like that and then when they get home they'll log on and do it or they may and maybe they'll take a day or two off if they can but like very few people have the capability to take a whole last week off work especially uh, after the pandemic and stuff where you've got people who were forced to take that leave and use it when they got sick. Whether it's right or wrong, it's a completely different topic. Some people may not have that leave because they've been forced to use it so they can have a job while they've been unwell and things like that. I'm done. Yay! Up we go. <laughs> How do you sir? Right. Oh, that was a ding. 56. Okay, beautiful. 61.27. Still two days behind. We're catching though. Our forces require aid. All must serve the They're catching. I don't think this tune's gonna make it to 57 by the end of Maldraxxus, but we'll uh, see how I go. Two cage key it is two. Two cage keys off the first two kills. I'll take it. Beautiful. Hey Scarlet, welcome back.
server I'm in now has so many players, was able to finish the European stuff during prime time, folks so are constantly burning through the elite. But it, yeah, it also really helps when the uh, there's a world boss, a world quest that's up for that, the, the thing. So if people are there doing that one, yep. Beautiful. Super useful. I'm pretty sure Zygo skips that quest just because, like, there's no guarantee others will be there when you're there. Which is why I haven't been doing it, but that's alright. Back in here until there was hardly anyone. Oof, yeah. Interesting, because I mean, it cross realm zones and all that kind of stuff. Maybe the connected server just wasn't quite right still. There go, rest well, Holly. Thank you so much for the well wishes. See you next time. Oceanic time zones, gotcha. That would definitely explain it. Will help explain it at the very least. Just wait, that's funny. Well done. Hope you're enjoying it. I know uh, Alenia's been practicing the speed leveling route and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Go last you section of Maldraxxus. Only the finest. Just the AH seems to be much faster after the change now too. Parts of it are um, posting through TSM is slow as fuck. Completely, just slow as fuck. Scanning is still the same speed, but actually posting is um, like molasses. Oh, like making sales faster. Yeah, well, I mean you've got a greater base of players to purchase your stuff. So, yeah, that makes sense. So, AF, yeah. Yeah. Still scans every damn server find the lowest price. I don't know why they don't just use the API to find current min buyout. It's because they do stuff like blacklisting certain yeah, players and whitelisting ideas. players to not undercut them and all this kind of stuff. Like they have those functionalities. What they need is a tick box to say, I don't care who the sale is by. That's the problem. Their, their player blacklists and whitelists are, are the bigger issue. Um, but it's it's not, like, the scanning doesn't feel too slow at the moment. It's the posting. Like, if I use my macro and do the scroll wheel, it used to just be like tick, 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 as in posts, and now it's like tick, 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 tick. Like, I've actually been clicking the post button instead of using my macro so I don't, like, 
it, it's just it's it's easier that way. It's ter it's terrible. And so before I finish posting, yeah, yeah, because there's now like instead of hundreds of players, there are thousands and thousands of players who are looking at purchasing your items. Like it it makes sense. The more people there, the more stuff that's going to get bought and sold. The more in and out there's going to be. Um, is your pet a mecha dog? Ah, uh, yeah, my character's a mecha gnome, and the default pet that they get is a mechanical pet. Ah, uh, Booth, Myra, Silver Shadow, Meaty, Snow, Sand, and Pulse. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Right, next one. Scroll chest. Make sure you place those units. The stream is so comforting. Thank you. Glad you enjoy it, Luz. Uh, if I remember correctly, they throttled it to that point after the last change and eased it back over time. No, last time they throttled it and then went, ah, oh, crap, that's not what we meant to do. We just meant to throttle cancels, and this is obviously not doing what we wanted it to do. Um, this seems more like it's on TSM's end than the game's end, personally. I, I, I could be wrong on that, but um, yeah, I, I personally feel like it's an actual TSM issue, not a, an API issue. Because everything else, like opening mail, instantaneous. Scanning, pretty, still pretty quick. Posting is the only thing that has gone completely crap. Um, I don't think that that's a Blizzard UI restriction. I think it might be TSM trying to generate and trying to, to scan too much. Uh, or like just processing too much info or something. I don't know. Um, just in keys, because she'll be second on it. Fantastic! Well, I hope the keys are going well. Listing stuff directly on the default, default AH is fast, yeah, so it's a it's a TSM issue. Um, I used to be in the Discord, but I left it because I had too many Discords that I was in, so, um, it might be worth me jumping back in there and just having a read of what's going on, but there's... I, I'm sure that they know it's an issue and that they're doing what they can to work on it, but I have a feeling that there's got to be... There's got to be chunks of the add-on that are having to be rewritten and all this kind of stuff, so it's, um... Yeah. Can't imagine it's easy. It was my computer that was causing the slow scan. Um, the scan isn't too slow. It was in the first couple of days because it was just broken. Like, it was, it was having massive errors, the API was throwing issues, all this kind of stuff. The scan these days is mostly fine. It's the posting after the scan. So you grab everything from your bank and that happens at lightning speed and then you do the scan and it goes at reasonable speed and then you try to post stuff and it just... you can post like one item every three to four seconds. So yeah, the, the scanning and the posting are two different functions here. <clears throat> There's a difference previously if you, have, if you had over 100 items to post, it was much slower than 99 or less. Um, yeah, so I'm experiencing it at 76. I've gone from having seven or eight, like, batches of auctions to having to post. I went through and, like, disenchanted a ton of stuff because I just could not be bothered anymore. So now I have, like, one full bag load and then one load that's about 76 items. And, of course, that, you know, fluctuates a bit, but it's, it's under 100 and it's still shit. So it's not that. At least if it was that, it's not that anymore. I know that when it when it was doing the scan, it would often pause the scan at a point and then start again. Um, but that's again the scan, not the posting. I'm, and I am talking about a slightly different function. It's the posting that is taking forever. The scan is functioning perfectly. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's just some kind of hangover from um, TSM having to be redone in a whole bunch of ways after the 927 changes, and that we just have to be patient about it. After all, add-on authors are not paid enough to have this be their full-time job.
if you had a good weekend anyways. Um, not too bad. Um, I was really quite sick yesterday. Just kind of out of it and exhausted and just dead. Um, lots of napping. Uh, but I seem to be slightly better today. I do have a, like, I've got a heat pack on my neck. Um, underneath this goddamn hair. Because my neck, I, I must have slept on it funny or something. Because it just hurts today. Um, I, I had all this stuff planned that I needed to get done and got exactly zero of it done because I had no energy or brain power, so this week is going to be fucked trying to catch up, but that's fine. Not much I can do about it, so I just need to knuckle down and get shit done. Hope you've had a good weekend, though. And the sniffles. And services for the same. Your Let's do the crystals. Open up that door. Next side. Just turned out that both my co teachers will be off class tomorrow. I have one cash to replace them. Uh oh. That'll be fun. Okay. Everything is I know it's an extremely thankless job of time is absolutely. Absolutely. Screw you do. <laughs> She was knife emoji when you need it. I mean, you could use uh, you could use Viama mod. Although I don't remember what tier that's at. It's Jas, but he does have a sword. This 
far less threatening than- <laughs> I don't know, Jazz can be pretty threatening at times. This way for you folks. They did! Well, for me, they did. Yeah, because it's only just been uploaded, it can take the server a little bit to kind of figure out what it's doing. For you, I offer only the finest. List. Yeah, I, I would say that that's probably got a lot to do with it, honestly. Um, yeah, that's alright. I'm sure it'll, it might take a couple of hours for it to really sort of get its head on straight. Everything is okay. negotiable. May I tempt you with my words? Um, um, switch up usually helps. Ah, brilliant! Yeah, just it's it's kind of like it's like refreshing the cash. <laughs> oh. Crunch. Everything go crunch. It is an honor That's another do tune done in Maldraxxus. That felt really Use it quick. Like, the braziers that call the great houses to the arena. like that felt oddly quick. If you are fast enough to do so. Yes. Thank you. There you go. Done. Magic. Got some meat on your bones. Okay. Oh, man, oh, man. Well, this is fun. Just Biss, I'm glad you like it, dog. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Welcome on in. I hope you are having a brilliant day, though, genuinely. Alright. Away we go. Boop. Indeed, Yuri. How are you going? For God's sake, what is going on? Um, screen boss. Yep, indeed. Many of us have fallen to it. Unfortunately, correct. Amazing day. Hoping you have an every day. I am. Thank you for hoping. Thank you for your well wishes. Curse of playing video games. I oh, know, right? I'm playing an under fifty at the moment. She's about to ding thirty-eight. Brilliant. 
There you go. I'm about to switch to another 54. So I'm going to some chicken korma. Delicious. Leveling some lobies today, yay! So good. What are we at? Sixty-one point two seven percent of the way to completion, and I am still two days behind, but not for long. Soon I'll be only one day behind. We've done two tunes though in in just over half a stream, so that's um. I'm feeling pretty good about this. What might your purpose be? Next, it seems to be a fairly quick one. Hi, the sun. Well. Ah, oh, dark. Thank you so much for your sub. Welcome to the Fianari. Hope you enjoy your time with us. Do I go to the moor? No. Not at 48. Genuinely, wait till 50. You you have fewer, like, scra sca scavenging for something to do for a quarter of a bar to get to the next level. Like, it... And, and the whole leveling experience just goes a little smoothly. It's not particularly well-tuned from 48 to 50. Um, yeah, I, I always recommend to just it, just stick with your old stuff. Leveling through the old content is so goddamn quick. Just stick with it till 50. It, it means that it also means that you're not going to be like, you're not going to do all the Threads of Fate stuff and find yourself at 40 or 59 and a half and then go, shit, I have to do a dungeon. Like, not worth... <laughs> Not worth. The more you have a good time, we just completely skip the more. Run a few time walking dungeons. Can't time walk on a 48. Correct, you gotta be 50. I I would just do the last two levels in the old content, personally. It's very quick. I go in there at 48 due to boredom, so I'm pretty close to 50 when I'm done. However, I farm herb all while leveling, so get extra XP along the way. Yes, that is also a very good way to do it. Reasonably familiar with threat with it threads to August is not bad for missing half a level or so. Yeah, it, it's not too bad. Not too bad. No need to apologize. I always skip them all ever since they made it possible doing it like five times is enough for me. I'd rather stay in some old zone until level 50. Yeah, that's um I I definitely go with that as well personally. Uh, but of course it does definitely come down to personal choice as well. There are people out there who enjoy playing through them all um, and enjoy having, you know, just a couple little extra things to knock over to get to 60 as well. someone who enjoys the more there are millions of players exactly right exactly there's rewarded with a pet in the more today so made it worth it beautiful fantastic come forth and be charged I 
I serve. I didn't realize you kept drops in the intro. It's happy, good. Yeah, it's um, it's the same zone, I guess. So like all the the mobs and stuff use the same creature IDs, so it makes sense that they have the same loot tables. It's cool, hey. Useful. Making progress on leveling and I'm like this is good I want to keep this up I'm um I'm kind of tempted to cancel Mount Farm Mondays until I get my leveling done just to like blast through seeing how much I've got done just today makes me feel like if I if I went hard Looking I could just get fight. this done and then go back to usual programming and like really enjoy myself for the last little bit of Shadowlands with getting all the collectibles and stuff like that. But then I'm like, eh, but then what if there's amazing leveling buffs for pre-patch and the anniversary and then I won't be able to use those. And so it's like, I don't know. Maybe we just stick with what we're doing. It is an honor to bear the torch of challenge. Use it to light the braziers that call the great houses to the arena, if you are fast enough to do so. Alright, let's go. Uh, you might need to especially if you're losing some streams. So the content, yeah, like October's gonna be the big one. October, I'm losing like more than half my streams, I think. Um. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a thing. But like looking at September, there are four Mondays in September. That's 24 hours that I could spend leveling instead of mount farming. Mounts aren't going anywhere. If I don't have them leveled in time, I might not be able to get them out that I'm after in February. So yeah, it's, it's... There are some event stuff. There's there's some event stuff next week, uh, next month that I don't want to miss. Um, I'd rather just get stuff crossed off so it's done and I don't have to think about it. Like, I don't have to hold out for next year kind of thing. Get as much of it done this year as I can. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all a bit... Patch to level. Uh, the, the only problem is with that, Scarlet. Like, what if something comes up in your real life and you can't take advantage of it to, to the extent that you'd like to? What if the, the buff during pre-patch isn't as much as we think it or we hope it might be? Like, what if we don't get one at all? There is always a chance that we don't get one because there's a chance that it overlaps with the anniversary. And so they go, nah, fuck it. You can just have the anniversary one and that's that. Like, you know what I mean? There are, there's just too many, yeah, too many potential what ifs. Sometimes it's not worth waiting just in case. I get done nice seven possible too. Leveling all your tunes to 60s is your pro in the game and you're enjoying it, of course. I am, I am enjoying it. Um, I am getting the itch to do other stuff. Like I want to go and do some ATT and farm dungeons and things like that. But if I do that, I, I probably won't hit my goal, you know? So I kind of like, I want to get it done and then I don't have to think about it. 
then I just don't have to think about it for a good two years until another expansion comes along and they bump the requirement up for the mount to 70. And by that point, I may not even need that because I might have the mount. And so I don't even have to worry about what level my tunes are, you know? It's... There is a chance that once I'm finished this batch of leveling, I do not need to level them again. And that's a pretty big thing. Any classes I don't finish will need 10 more levels in DF to complete the meta. Yeah, that's oof, rough. <laughs> rough. Hey, Naren, welcome on in. Is it viable to level up alts in random dungeons or is it faster to just quest? Um, it really quite heavily depends. Um, it's if you have a consistent dungeon group, the the big the big time thing, the big time sink for leveling through dungeons is waiting for the queue to pop. So if you've got if you've got healer cues or tank cues on your leveling tune, and you can guarantee that you'll come out of one dungeon and into another one, it can be faster. You do also then have to take into account, okay, what if you end up in a group? who's never done the dungeon before, and so you gotta coach them through how to do this and which route to take and what to do here and blah 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 to avoid wipes and things, then that can take time. Um, the reason I prefer to quest, like I, I always quest, I do not level through dungeons, uh, and the reason for that is because the only person I have to rely on for that is me. There are no queues, I go along at my own pace, I don't hold anybody back, they don't hold me back, and I just get it done at, at whatever pace I can manage. Uh, but it, it really does depend on what you want to do as well and what you have more fun doing because if you're having fun if you're enjoying yourself more it will feel like it's going faster even if it's actually not of course the fastest way to level is to purchase a boost but those are fuck off expensive so <laughs> but welcome on into chat i hope you're having a fantastic day hi boys thanks to your classes would risk having to wait a lot yeah they absolutely do for sure Questing is faster after level 40 when you have fast flying, I think. I personally just do what you enjoy the most, do a mix of both, mostly dungeons before 40. There you go. There you go, after 40. I do questing. Yeah, I quest right the way through. Um, there is, like, I have got a couple of characters that I leveled through dungeons, but I did them with a full group of viewers, so we never had a single queue. Uh, we just went, and then we did another one, and then we did another one, and then we did another one, and then we did another one. Yeah, like, it just, there was no, there was no stopping. Um, so, and because we were all quite experienced players, we'd all been playing for like a decade plus at that point, uh, we knew the dungeons and, and we just kind of flew through them. So, uh, and it was an interesting experience, but uh, I wouldn't do it fucking. I just, I would not do it fucking personally. Um, but that's my choice and that doesn't necessarily mean that my choice is the right choice, you know? I just rested spam dungeons. That is another really good point. If you're, like, if you have rested XP, the, the experience you get from dungeons is going to be far, far greater because you're just killing stuff the whole time. Whereas quests, quest experience, like handing in a quest and getting that jump, is not affected by rested. It's only the mobs you kill that are affected by rested XP. Sorry, it's like 55. Waiting for Q-pop isn't great fun if you're DPS. And do a few BFA quests if I'm DPS queuing. That is the other thing. You can always quest while you're waiting for the Q to pop as well. Some XP works on bosses, yep. I think bottom line is do whatever you enjoy the most. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Leveling is a time-consuming process sometimes. Not nearly as much as it used to be, but it is still time-consuming. Um, and you are going to be far better off doing it if you enjoy the course you're taking. There are people who have leveled tunes from 0 to 60 entirely through battle, uh, like battle pets and stuff like that. So, like, do what you love. <laughs> do what you love. I haven't been leveling anyone since they lowered the max level. 50, 60 challenges way over my head. Yeah, look. It was 50-50s to begin with last year. This time last year I was doing 50-50s. Um, and it's for the Lovers in the Air event in February. The Heartbreak amount. Um, the Heartbreak amount that only drops for those 15 days, 15 lockout periods. 
um, can only drop for tunes that are at the moment 50 plus, but once DF launches, it'll be 60 plus. You, we're expecting that it'll be 60 plus that those tunes have to be to have a chance at having a drop. And it's one attempt per day per character. So the more characters you have, the more chances you have. And with a full account, a full account of 50 characters available at the correct level, you can do a max of 750 attempts per event. Um, and I did that. I did that last year. 750 attempts. I've got a total of 1600 attempts. And um, I, I died. I died. <laughs> but that's why I'm getting them all the 60. I am, okay. 50 60s is a bit of a lie. It is going to be 48 60s. Because two, I just dinged, by the way. Um, two of my tunes, I'm not going to bother leveling because they're going to be deleted for evokers. Uh, Neren, Sandrock, Zombie, Snow, Dono, and Krugen, correct. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. So yeah, it's, um, it's technically 48 60s, but, uh, look, that's still, that's still an effort and a half. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, alright, so I can't do that one. Let's do the healer again, and I'll pop down. I think if I put my battle plans down, that should be the five. It's not. I lied. Good. So I just dinged 55, so I can... 61.47%. I am now one day behind. Um, hello, gibberish. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Try to quest while queuing. Tried and true, indeed. Indeed. Um, it's how to most of my Archie achieves. We're waiting for DPS queues. Yep, yeah, beautiful. That works. As dedication. I want the mount. Once I get it, I never have to do it again. Like, you know, that's that's the beauty of it. So does that mean in pre-patch you'll be leveling those evokers? I don't have access in pre-patch, Yori. I have I've pre-ordered physical collectors. I won't get that until day before launch. I thirst for you're only like you have to have your code for your upgrade on your account. To have access to to pre-launch stuff i won't have that i've never had that there is um there every time they're like oh, oh oh yeah but you can buy the epic edition and then when you apply you then you call them up and get them to put the collector's code on and they refund you the epic edition yeah but i'm so 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 happy for you and glad that you have the money to buy two copies i don't <laughs> I can't afford to have that money outlaid and then get a refund later. So, no. I can't do it. Um, so I'll be leveling them at some point, probably in January. But I only have to get them from 58 to 60. So I just, I literally have to go through the intro and they'll be done. Why ready to go. Have you interrupted me? It won't be a big deal. Uh, we level two focus 60 first thing just to get to 60. Fear to max level? No. No, fear will be first. Fear yeah, because I'll have like a month and a half to do. At least. Well, thank you, Slane. Hello, Daz. Welcome back. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, you can't have access to pre-order bonuses without having pre-ordered. And State sending them my EB Games receipt is not enough proof. They actually have to have me to have the code on the account the to, to prove it. New class. Should you read more? Yes. Uh, Drakthir evokers. Drakthir is the race. Evoker is the class. Drakthirs can only be evokers, and evokers can only be Drakthir. It's a class race combo. Hi, the sun well. Daz! Congratulations on the gifted sub from Space. Thank you so much for your uh, for your generosity, you Space. For much appreciated. Ah, uh, you don't really get a refund. You get Blue's credit back. 
Okay, in previous years it's been an actual refund. I didn't realize it was just Blizz Credit because, yeah, they've specifically done refunds before. Um, at least that was what people who did it told me that they got done. Um, but regardless, I mean, if you're if you're subscribing to the like if you're if you're paying for the game anyway, you're probably gonna just use that credit on 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 your uh, what's it anyway. Um, your sub. Uh, do you get a boost to the DF edition you bought? If so, would you use it on one of the evokers? Uh, no. Yes, but no. Um, so the collector's edition, the physical collector's edition, is everything in the top, top, top tier, plus physical goodies. The box and the mouse pad and the art book and the blah, blah, blah. It's, yeah, it's everything you get in the top tier of digital, plus physical shit. But no, I don't use boosts. I, I don't use boosts. Because I enjoy it. If I boost a slot, then that's one slot I don't get to level. Great enjoy. Best of luck. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Space. I think I might have to reheat this heat pack. My neck's getting. Give me heat back. Oh, I was okay. I was gonna go do it myself. It's fine, I'm making it anyway. Oh my god, your hands are cold. I'm also making bubble tea. Making what? Bubble tea. Yay! I just did the ice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would explain the cold hands. Thank you so much, Jess. I was wondering if you'd do that. Oh, I look. It was not my intention. Sometimes I stay, say stuff absolutely with the intention for Jas to go start doing things. Like, ooh, I'm feeling hungry. Jas can make dinner. But, um, <laughs> but that was absolutely not my intention. Um, I do need to get up and, like, stretch my legs and stuff as well. I think the next time there's, after I kill these and get their skulls, I have to go find the dead bodies and then I have to kill the big name mob. Um, and then I have to go and discover a flight path. So I think when we get to that flight path, I might go and like stretch my body. Because I'm um Oh and thank you, dude. I do actually have another one in queue already. That's alright, if I don't end up using both of them, I'll refund them. If you use them, I cannot get to use. Got them from previous expansions of the Shadowlands upgrade and Injury leveling and save boost lady. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of the same. Like, um, yeah. I've got I have used one. I've used one before, and it was because I had an American friend who wanted me to make a character on their server, and I did. And we played together for all of about an hour and a half, and then we never played together again. And so when I was consolidating my tunes down to the two servers, that tune got delayed. So I have used a boost before. But none of the characters currently on my account have been boosted. Everything, everything on the account has been leveled manually from scratch, depending on where scratch is. You know, like the um, my DK. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure all of my DKs were created before. Maybe one of them wasn't. Were created before the squish, so they were at like what's 50, whatever it was. Um, my demon hunters were created at higher levels. Um, my allied races, they all started at either 20 or 10. A whole bunch of them did start at 10, but like, you know what I mean? So scratch means something different for every character, but they were all leveled, like, by hand. The boosts involved. They are for rogues. Leveling rogues is a painful experience. Look, yeah, they're not, it's not great. Leveling rogues is not my favorite thing to do. But I am kind of getting better at it. Like, I know what... Because I've done the same... Like, the same zones over and over again, I kind of get used to, like, oh, yeah, okay, I know I can pull this, I know I can pull that. I know I'm dead here. Oh, crap, oh, no. Thank you. 
You're a good person. Sometimes. It's a touch hot. It'll burn my neck if I put it on just now. So I'm going to cool it down just a touch. Um... And second rogue to access tomorrow. There's edgy weapon transmogs. Hate the rogues. Yeah, look, I've I've got four of them. Um, not the easiest thing to level. They're just so squishy. Maybe that'll change in Dragonflight. Maybe with the uh, the new talent layout, maybe they'll change a bit. Told you, get the dead things, and then I killed the name mob, and now I'm going the flat path, and I'm gonna go stretch my legs. Just need much more survival damage lately so far. Oof, rough. That sucks. Maybe they'll maybe they'll tweak their base levels of things. Let's have all the abilities down as horrible, but leveling, nope. No, even even at 60, my my rogue, my 60 rogue is my squishiest tune out of the 15 I have at 60. It's the worst. It's absolutely the worst. Um, all right, I will return shortly. I'm gonna go and just walk around a bit. <laughs> I'll be back shortly. Everything hurts. I feel kind of broken at the moment. <laughs> oh dear. That's okay. Let us crack onwards. Um, am I missing something? Just leveled a rogue and it's great. It is squishy, but they have so much CC that they never get hit. Uh, not my experience, personally. Um, my, my rogues have been squishier than, like, priests and mages to level. Um... They just, they feel like they are so gear dependent to be able to do anything. It's, uh... What do you covet? Yeah, it has not, it has not been super fun. How can I serve? Win at any cost! Um, it's been a while since I've played WoW, so is Demon Hunter better now since they nerfed it? I genuinely have no idea, Sword. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, I I cannot answer that question for you. I don't know which nerf you're talking about. 
I I don't know when demon hunters were not good. Um, I, <laughs> I I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm so sorry. Maybe someone else in chat will be able to provide you with something a little more informational than than I can. But yeah, I I, I do. Um, shortly after Shadowlands came out. Oh yeah, that was like two years ago. I don't remember what I did two weeks ago, let alone two years ago. No idea. Cannot answer that question for you. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, dear. I mean, like, I know my memory is trash, but Demon Hunter is also not, like... I have demon hunters, but I don't play them, like, outside of getting transmog or doing covenant tables, so it's, <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm, I'm not the right person to ask that question of. That's okay. Everyone plays a little bit differently, don't they? Do you remember two days ago? That's the real question. What was two days ago? Friday? Yeah, we did stream! Didn't we do time walking? And I bought the, the replica Aegis of Agrima on, on Hero and my shaman. Last I checked, demon hunters are in an okay spot so long as they keep their sinful brand running. Oh, thank you, Jas. Jess of the wet hands answering all the tricky questions. Yeah, look, I I'm not gonna lie. Those kind of questions, I, I'm not good at them. Um, so I kinda hope that either Jess or Jack steps in and like puts me out of my misery. <laughs> Wonder if I should level a DK next. And then I'll have deeps, heals, and tanky tunes. DKs are, are like they're pretty fun next to play. They're, like the yoink is one of my favorite abilities. Um, like grip, death grip. But, yeah, that's good. Red steers is my main class. The top two gets most of the time. Now. These DPS can be off the game. Right. Okay. Yeah. There's um like I couldn't care less about that shit. Um, <laughs> like I and no, I I don't mean that you should. That you shouldn't like everyone enjoys the game in a very very different way uh and i like for me i play fire mage i i enjoy playing fire mage it's brilliant fun uh i love the the way that it flows and all that it just it just like clicks for me i do not care where i am on the meters as long as i'm pulling my weight and doing mechanics properly then i have a spot in the raid teams and the, the groups and stuff that i join um and so being nerfed in that way, I, I don't even feel it. And that's not the reason why I play the game. Like big numbers isn't the way, isn't the reason I play, uh, which is one of the reasons I just, I can't answer those kind of questions for people because I don't even, I don't have damage meters installed. I could not give two shits. Like <laughs> I do not have shits to give. Um, but if that's what, if that's what you enjoy about the game, you know, there are, there are, hundreds if not thousands of players who play flavor of the month classes like every single time there's a nerf or a buff they, they switch tunes and they re-gear and, and all that kind of stuff and i like holy cow that's so much effort that's that's like high effort way to play the game and, and props to to those people but uh yeah unfortunately it puts me in a position where i cannot answer that kind of stuff um collectibles mounts pets toys transmog all the things literally the add-on called all the things att um, all that kind of stuff, absolutely. Like, we can, we can chit-chat about that till the cows come home, but, um, like, buffs and nerfs and, and damage meters and shit like that, don't know, don't care. So, <laughs> there you go. Isn't it amazing how, like, there are just so many different ways to play the game? It's kind of beautiful. Such a huge game catering to so many different tastes. I love that. I love that. Uh, if you're tied to one class, you're not going to be at the top all the time. 
yeah, that's it's kind of the way it goes. Hey, but everyone provides utility as well. Like there are like people take different classes in a group because of not just because of the damage they do, but because of all the different things that they can bring as well. Hot. I can see that. It looks pretty, <laughs> pretty steamy. Thank you for dinner. Uh, oh, I have four demon hunters. Like, it's not about that. It's about the fact that I don't give a shit about buffs and nerfs and DPS and stuff. Um, what's your thoughts on the state of lower car tuning and the DK survivability? Uh, I have none. I don't care. <laughs> I have none. Um, others in the in the community may have thoughts and feelings on those. I I do not. Um, for all of the reasons I just spent the last two minutes explaining. Uh, death grip for the win, priest grip, or whatever it's called. Great. Um, uh, yeah, what is it called? I don't remember what it's called. Something of faith or something, I think it was. Leap of faith. Yeah, but that's you jumping. Didn't the priests have, like, a, a yoink? Holy grip. Life grip. Death grip, life grip. Yep, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, right now my goal is to get all my pets to level 25, possible level a few more tunes. Well, squirt day tomorrow. That'll help with the pets. These just arrived. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Um, level car is fine. DK survivability is always going to be a problem with the way it's death strike works. There you go. Perfect. See, I told you, others in the community have thoughts and feelings. They have often they have enough thoughts and feelings to make up for mine having none. That's what the ability is called. Why though? But you're not leaping. You're yoinking. It doesn't make sense. I don't like the name of that ability. It's silly. Ah, the sweet aroma of decay. Pop on servers these days. Um, kind of the non-issue. Um, so because everything is cross-realm zoned, because everything can be done cross-region, uh, cross-realm, except for like guilds and mythic raiding. Like literally everything else is cross-realm. Even the auction house now, commodities are cross-realm. Um, as of like what a week and a half ago now, or, or a week ago or something. I don't even remember. Half a week? Fuck. Time doesn't exist. Um. Literally everything can be done cross radio, uh, cross server. Um, God, you can even do shit cross faction as well. Uh, so the server populations don't How can I really serve? matter. Because um, if you can't find what you're looking for on your server, you just like pop up an LFG you, and you'll find people from all over the place, which is kind of cool. You look oddly um, today. But yeah, they did, they did, uh, but you would have been here for the server connections prior to Shadowlands. You said you stopped playing just after Shadowlands launched. Um, so yeah, it's, it's about as it was when they made all those connections. But yeah, every, the only things you cannot do, do cross-server is join a guild. And even eat those server clusters that have like four or five guilds in them, uh, four or five servers in them. You can cross-server guild on those server clusters. Um... But you can't go outside your server cluster for a guild, and you can't go outside your server cluster for a mythic raid lockout, uh, which you don't obviously don't have to do those in a guild, but you can do that after the Hall of Fame is full. Right? So once you've got the 100 Horde, the 100 Alliance guilds in the Hall of Fame, that, that becomes cross-region, uh, cross-realm as well, and literally then the only thing that you can't do cross-realm is guild up, um, or like do trade. Conjured items and shit. Or trade trade items like drops and things and BOEs. Yeah, it's it's kind of good. Makes the the accessible player base feel shitload larger. Yoink of trolling, much more appropriate name than leap of faith. You're not leaping anywhere. You're standing the fuck still. Like I just don't. That doesn't make sense. Have I mentioned I have an Instagram you can follow? No, but seriously, content creator. 
um, trying to grow reach on socials and three followers on Instagram, three away from 1100. So if you haven't already, might be worth checking out. Have a scroll, see if you like it. And if you do, maybe tap that follow button. What if training stuff will be changing now that AH has changed? Um, well, no, because transmog and stuff like that isn't a commodity, so it that's still server based. This person, if he thinks I couldn't solve it, ah, oh, I've yeah, the the big dude up the top can be a little bit tricky, but as long as you know which ones you can dodge and which ones you can't, then it's yeah. But yeah, um, because like the AH has changed, but only for commodities, commodities across server. Um, so mats and potions and flasks and food and stuff like that, but gear isn't. Gear is not a commodity. Excuse me. So that is still restricted to your own server. So like all of my mats have sold, none of my transmog have sold. <laughs> Oh, it was interesting when different servers had a good price difference in AH. It is. Well, it's all about that supply and demand, hey. So if you've got a server where you have like a fuck ton of raiding guilds and only a handful of people who actually spend the time to go out and farm this stuff, then you're going to have not much supply and massive demand. So the price is going to be a crap load higher. And then you'll have other servers where people just gather stuff. They, they don't gather it to sell. They're not trying to make gold. They're just doing it passively while they do other stuff and then they stick it on the auction house because the only other option is to vendor it. Um, but also there's not a whole lot of demand so the price is kind of stable. And then you've got places where you've got people trying to gold farm because they, they watched a YouTube video and it said that this ore is like super, super expensive. And so they went out and spent 12 hours farming this fucking ore and then dumped all of it on the auction house all at once. But no one's crafting gear because no one fucking cares. Uh, and so there's tons of supply and no demand, and so the price tanks. Um, but that's why, that's one of the reasons why they've done the cross-server thing specifically for commodities. So herbs, cloth, or potions, flasks, food, uh, sharpening stones, all that kind of stuff. Anything that's like used for raiding or, or mythic plussing or, or whatever, that stuff is now cross-server. So you'll have all these gold makers on one server farming the crap out of this ore that the YouTuber told them to. No one on their server's buying it, but everyone on the other servers is, and so it still sells. Uh, and it, it the the day of, some stuff, the price of some stuff tanked because there were so many people who were like, yeah, I bought up all this stuff so I could make tons of money when this happens. And then everyone posted it all at once and it went to crap. Um, and then there were other things where the price went sky high because they're like, oh, well, there's so much more demand for my stuff now. I'm going to post it a million gold a pop. Uh, so, it, yeah, it's interesting, but it is, it's definitely starting to even out now. Um, it, it only takes, like, you know, a week or so, um, a full lockout worth rating to, to kind of get back to the point where, okay, no, it's worth buying this now. Because every, everyone's doing faded stuff. This is not prog anymore uh, for most guilds. So it's like, you know, we're not going like, to, if, if food is at 300 gold for one piece of food, I'm just not going to buy it because I don't care. <laughs> Uh, but I, I do feel like it's a step towards uh, the new professions stuff for Dragonflight. Having work orders that go cross-server and things like that. You kind of need to have those kind of commodities be able to go cross-server so that you can have work orders that go cross Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it kind of it makes sense why they're, they're adjusting it now. And I do like that they're implementing all this experimental shit in the end, like the tail end of Shadowlands. Um, rather than implementing it front up in, sh in Dragonflight and having everything break and the expansion be broken for two months <laughs> while they fix it, I'd rather have the tail end of Shadowlands be broken than the front end of, of DF. But that's just my... That's just, that's just my viewpoint. And I understand a lot of people disagree with that. And that's okay. It's just an avenue for people to ma manipulate the market. Uh, that was a fun part of the servers are like cities with supply and demand. They are. They are. Well, they were. Not quite as much anymore. It's interesting. It worked for Jack, it did, but Jack was smart about what he bought. He didn't just buy up whatever the YouTubers told him to. He had his own thoughts. I say YouTubers, but I also mean like streamers and stuff as well. 
It's just that people tend to go for YouTube on that kind of stuff because it's consumable when you need it. Like, it's like, okay, I want to learn how to gold farm now. Is there a content creator live telling me the information? No, there are YouTube videos going back however long. So yeah, it's it's easier to get that kind of info from a pre-recorded video. Did do pretty well there. Oh, amazing, Tally! Welcome on in. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, but I do now. It took me a second, but that's because my brain is trash. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for the follow. 1098. My god. It's not bad. To bear the torch of it's not bad. Use it to light Working my ass off trying to like get brands, brands attention. It's like, hello, sponsorships. I can do them. It's good fun. Good fun. A great day. Awesome. Oh, that's so good to hear. Battle time. There's... One more juicy nibbler. Four sub fifties. Ah, oh, well done, matey. Well done. That's so good. Uh, Tway, Dunno, Silver Molly, PF, Meaty, Dalf, and Mara. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. Not this one now. Can I place an orc? No. Have my bomber. Place my battle plans, and then I can go turn those two quests in. I can level something. Ah! Centurion. Amazing. Okay. Back we go. Ah, I used to sell around the suit this morning. Oh, I'm out. Brilliant. A while ago, back in Legion, yeah. We uh, we did a run each week. Um, there were a group. There was a group of four of us, and we all had it. And so we'd take a fifth, uh, from the subscriber pool. So like, I didn't like. I was a much, much, much smaller streamer back then. Um, but. I had a, I had a, I had a handful of subs, and uh, and so, yeah. Each week we we like drew a sub name out of the hat and, and took them along and got them their their amber worm. Nice, good fun. Hang on, well, which one was the smoldering amber worm? Was that not from Kara? Or can you still get that? Oh, you can still get that one, can't you? They didn't get rid of- sorry. I had in my head that they got rid of it, um, 
after it became like trivial, but they didn't, did they? No, you can still go do the crystals and stuff. Yeah, okay, good. Never mind. Sorry, it lost my mind there. But yeah, it was the good. Good. Because we stopped doing it, because we like we ran out of people who wanted to do it so early on. It's been a very long time since I've done it. <laughs> yeah, you can pretty much go solo that stuff nowadays, hey. I'd rather fight than talk. Hey, Akana. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. with five people yeah i know but like 20 percent chance is a pretty high percentage drop especially when it's free <laughs> like if you don't have to if you've if you've got four friends to take with you for sure but if you're like paying a group of people in gold to come along sometimes you're just better off going and doing the run taking the chance not everyone has that kind of gold. You would make well, I did have, I did actually like close completely out of Discord earlier when I was having those FPS issues. I was just trying to close down as many background things as I could. Um, so I may have to check it later, but I'll see how I go. I'm not gonna check on the phone, actually, it might just be crap. I'm able to Oh, those are super cute. That's adorable. God, I'm, uh... Oh, I just, I would love to get back into some crafty stuff. It's been so long since I made anything. I just have not had any fucking time. I mean, made anything other than like content, obviously. <laughs> I've done plenty of that, but it's, uh, yeah, it's not quite the same. Check two, of course. Yuck. How are you going? Welcome back. Oh, 
pants and I hope you are too, for sure. In a bit of pain, my neck's a bit twinged, but mostly good, mostly good. Doing lots of leveling today, I'm feeling quite productive in terms of uh, powering through that. Chores and adulting for the week, I know the feeling. I know the feeling, I'm so behind on literally everything, it sucks. That's there it is. God damn it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm very good at this. Really. Oh, I don't know where the button is. It's a bit easier. Let's get the area around the house of chosen. Well, usually I don't pull that entire whole house pack. Um, <laughs> usually I'm fine. Uh, I know which mobs I can and can't pull. Um, I just pull too many of them all at once. I know that one there is a pain in the butt. The ones on the tops of these towers are pains in the butt. But if you start with like the the glowy stuff around here and you take out here the banners here this one. This one here you sneak up around the side and grab that lot and then cut across here and grab those two banners while you're cutting across usually you're done by the time you get to that ballista but i decided to do something different and i paid for it heavy artillery <laughs> our foes. Help our troops ready our weapons. three runs three different routes oh wow it's kind of cool at least you get some variety fuck legion why don't you play me again then nothing stopping you go for it I'm not a paladin! Uh... Correct. As demonstrated by the fact that I died because I couldn't find my shield. Might dust him off. Yes. Sometimes a little variety is needed. Yes, it does.
nowhere else today. Oh no! Hope you're okay. Sorry, everything is fine. Um, so we've got we've got chicken and roast veggies tonight. And it's like roast tomato and zucchini. And I'm like, I'm eating this zucchini, and I'm like, this is this is not something's not right here. Zucchini is one of my favorite veggies, especially roast zucchini. It's so so tasty. And I'm like, this doesn't taste right. And I'm like, is it bad? Is it, has it gone off? Or is there like, what is, and then I took a real good look at it. And I'm like, no. And then I Googled for confirmation. I'm like, oh my God. Um, so it turns out Jas has made roast cucumber. <laughs> and I can recommend it. It's actually not half bad. Not what I expected, but not half bad. <laughs> Much juicier than a roast zucchini. A bit crunchier too. You look ugly, mm. It is a bit watery, but the thing is, because it's been roasted, it's been dried out a bit. So the skin is kind of shriveled and, and a lot of the, like some of the water, like quite a bit of the water has bled out of it, but it, it's not like a concentrated cucumber essence that's left. It's actually like, it's really interesting. I didn't think there was many, there were many sugars in a cucumber, but it is like, it has that caramelized kind of taste. It's strange, but I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I'm sorry, Jeff. I didn't like, this is, this is absolutely not a shame. Thing. Like I'm, I'm not trying to shame Jas at all. I think it's hilarious, firstly, uh, and I'm so appreciative that Jas makes dinner for me while I'm streaming. Like, like, how the hell did I score that deal? I will never know. But I just, I'm like, <laughs> that's hilarious. I love it so much. And now he's never gonna live it down. Hey, you remember that time you roasted a cucumber? Like, <laughs> it's great. It's great. Oh dear. I mean, it was actually quite tasty. Does not taste like cucumber. It does not taste like zucchini, but it doesn't taste bad either. Tried roast cucumber. It sounds like I should. Like, it's not bad. So this recipe called for it literally to just be sliced lengthwise and roasted. So I've got, like, well, I've eaten most of it now, but I had, like, a whole last cucumber cut down the middle and then roasted, and it's it's not bad. It's not bad. I think it'd go quite well with, like, um, like, golden squash. Um, like, you know, the little yellow squash things that you can get? Um, because they've got their, because, like... How do I, like yellow squash, when you roast it, it kind of disintegrates a bit. It's far more like summery and a lighter flavor. And also like a lighter just in general than than um, green regular old zucchini is. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like, it's got the same sort of essence of that like roast vegetable comfortness, but with like the lightness and the juiciness of like a summer veg, if that makes any kind of sense. It's, it's an interesting combo. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, hello, D. N no, I'm not. I'm Fiamma, as my 
URL states. Thought that was fairly obvious. But <laughs> hope you're having a fantastic day. Jess, I can't tell the difference either. I can. I would much rather have roasted cucumber. Yeah, but see, I love zucchini, so it's, yeah, it's a thing. Why would you think that though? Like, it's just such a weird. <laughs> Usually, people who are internet famous advertise who they are on the internet. That's yeah, you're you're absolutely a troll. <laughs> Have a good day. Someone obviously got here and cleared all this shit out before I did, which is annoying, but that's fine. Plenty of mobs for everybody. on that orb is just a touch annoying. Just a little bit. No, this is this is Zagor. I don't know how to write my own stuff for Zagor. That is out of my wheelhouse. So no, everything I use is uh, built in. Everything I use is um is from the developers. Uh, so this is their Maldraxxus Threads of Fate one specifically because they have for each Shadowland zone they've got three different guides. Um, there's one that's story only, no side quests. There's one that's story and side quests, so like, do the whole zone. Uh, and then, excuse me, there's the Threads of Fate one, which does the side quests plus weaves the bonus objectives in, in an appropriate order. And that's the ones I use for all these alts because I've got so many of them and I'm doing them all through threads. So yeah, the Threads of Fate guides. I'm oh, mainly confused. I even look similar. Yeah, no, it's, um, they're a troll, so we ban them. It's um, it's pretty slick add-on to be honest. It is. It absolutely is. Um, I've been using it for over a decade. I highly recommend it. I've got a referral link and everything. Um, I don't make- I'm not paid by them. I don't get money from them or anything, but, um, for every person who, uh, uses it and- and pays a subscription to them, I get a dollar off my subscription. So, you know, full disclosure. Um, there is a free- it is free. The add-on is free. Uh, you get a whole handful of, um, guides with that Free add-on, and then if you want extra guides, you can. There is a subscription uh, for those, um, which is quite handy, and I use it like literally every day. Um, no matter what I'm doing in WoW, there's usually a Zygor guide for it. Uh, doing the Covenant assaults that I do on Mount Fun Mondays, there's guides. Obviously, there's leveling guides. 
reputation guides, uh, mount, pet, toy, title, um, secrets. There, there's just, there's a whole ton of, all the dungeon and raid guides as well. So like if you're finding yourself going back and hunting for transmog, you're like, shit, I don't remember this raid. Where the fuck do I go? Um, the Zygors, there's a Zygor for that. Um, if you're leveling and going through dungeons and you're like, wait, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do here. There's a Zygor for that. It's, yeah, it's so comprehensive. It's really, really useful. They've got, um, uh, farming routes for herbs and ore and skinning and all sorts of stuff too. Like there's, yeah, it's pretty big. Pretty big. How's loving going by the way? I am one day behind, which is a vast improvement, uh, because when I updated all the stats for the, um, the leak, they had a, a release date leak, uh, potential release date, uh, that was leaked, and, um, so I adjusted. I knew I was going to have to because I knew on or before. I had it, like, I had it right through to Lovers in the Air because I was expecting Dragonflight was going to be after February, and then when they said on or before December 31st, I pulled it up to December 31st, and then I knew I'd have to pull it up again when, because I knew it wouldn't be on December 31st, I knew it would be at some point before then, and I knew I'd have to adjust it then as well. So I adjusted it for the leak just in case, because I meant like, I mean, either it's right, and if I complete my leveling, then it's done in time, or it's wrong, and I'm still pretty close. Like, I, I still get to get my leveling done. So like, there's no, no real harm in adjusting for that. Um, so yeah, when I did that, I went from up to date to 10 days behind. Um, and I was like, yeah, ouch, <laughs> that sucks. Uh, but I'm now back up to only one day behind. So I've been, I've been pumping it, um, which is good. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting couple weeks. I'm thinking I might adjust my September leveling, my, my September stream schedule. Uh, I do have a whole bunch of Mount Fun Monday and stuff. I'm thinking I'm just going to scrap all that and just level my ass off. Um, turn it into a leveling stream for a bit because I know October... October's gonna be a mess and a half. I'm I'm going down to Melbourne for just over a week for PAX. Uh, and I've got some other stuff and things that are gonna ha that's gonna happen during October as well. Um, so I don't know how much time I'm gonna have to level. Um, so I'd like to I'd like to get as much done as I can before all that shit hits the fan. But we'll see how we go. So it's reflective of the website guides because it reacts to the stadio character too. Must investigate. It's, it's worth it. Um, exclamation Zygor will get you my link if you're interested in that. Uh, but again, as I, did, I, I, as I said, I do get um, a benefit from that. And if you're not up for that, then that's totally okay too. No judgment here. No hard feelings. But yeah, exclamation Zygor. And that'll at least get you a link to the website. Everything is negotiable. Um, did you just recommend a website or best add-on? Uh, I don't think there are any best add-ons or best websites. I think it really depends on what you're looking for and what you want it to accomplish. Uh, Wild, welcome on in, by the way. Um, but the add-on that we're talking about currently is Zygor, which is this one just here. Um, it has a whole bunch of, like, in-game guides for leveling, for professions, for reputations for storyline bits and this and that and the other there's there's it's just it has literally hundreds and hundreds of guides um and i use it a lot uh but there are plenty of people who've been playing from a lot longer than i have who have never used it before at all so it's not it's definitely not necessary no no add-ons are necessary to be perfectly honest but um they can be helpful I uh, Melbourne didn't know PAX was in October and I'm off to America then. Yeah, it's the same weekend as um, TwitchCon San Diego. Um, uh, hello, Miss Lies. ATT is the best. Look, look. ATT is simultaneously the best and the worst. It will consume your life if you're not careful. Genuinely. ATT is sim exactly simultaneously best and worst. But welcome on in. Welcome on in, May. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, I love Zygor, thanks to Fear. Found it, couldn't find what I was missing to unlock a race, even after many hours of Google and Wowhead. Thanks to Fear and Zygor, I found what I needed. Fantastic! That's so, like, did you go to the embassy and, like, talk to the creature of the race you were trying to unlock and ask them what you were missing? Like, because <laughs> that's the first place you're supposed to go. Yep, one brain cell. 
May I tempt you? One brain cell. Is it mechanomes? Um, I don't remember. Dunno would probably have to ask for that one. My name is Jackie stuck going on. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I always just like when I was doing my um Ally Brace unlocks, I just went to the embassy in Orgrimmar or Stormwind and and spoke to the there's because there's a representative from each of the races there. And you talk to them and that gives you a checklist and it shows you what you have and haven't done. And once you've got everything ticked off, you talk to them and they've got a quest for you. And that was like that was it. Absolutely. One sign, we should just got the time reaper after a very long time. Ah, fantastic screen! Congratulations! Well done. I can play the game again. <laughs> but can you really? Like, isn't isn't farming a mount? Isn't that playing game? Playing the game? Because I mean, that's what I do at Wolvo actually at the moment. Oh, it's the fucking way. Neeks! Neeks! Thank you so much for the resub. Thirty-one months. Oh my god! Thank you for your support. I hope you're doing wonderfully well. Did you say TwitchCon Sydney? No. San Diego. TwitchCon doesn't do an Australian version. They do EU and they do US. That's it. Ah, uh, depends on the state of your knowledge of this line. Hard vows or line. Make it on storyline. Oh dear. I knew the quest I needed wasn't available, so there was gaps in my quest I had to fill in. Ah, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, usually when it comes to stuff like that, um, one of the, like, if it's like, you need to do this quest and you know where the quest is, one of your best bets is to just go there and see if there is anything in the area. And if there is, just do it. Just just clear the map of all the exclamation marks. It's great fun. Um. Um, I don't know if there's any more. I couldn't unlock it because I had some runes. The other day here with Magni. Beautiful. Amazing. God, Bjarko, why can't you just like go and help Azeroth? Jeez. Jeez. Oh well, I hope that I hope that whatever is going on, Neeks, that you're able to find uh, some solace, uh, solution, or if that's impossible, then some some comfort. Uh, but best of luck with it, yeah. Best of luck. Hello, Zam. Welcome back. Oh, it's a battle. Let me just not die. Okay, good. Uh, Silver Shadow, HIA, Naren, Pi, Slain, Silver Molly, Mara, and Claw. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus Well done! I got the most kills! Go me! Go me! I was meant to go in some of the game. Health being more important? Absolutely. Absolutely. Sometimes there are difficult choices to make, uh, but sometimes you got to make the right ones rather than the most fun ones. Oh dear. Uh, so I think that's that quest done. Beautiful. No, I just have like kills. Perfect. Um, hello, Sink. Happy time zone to you. How's my favorite Twitch streamer today? I'm not sure. You'll need to go ask them. Lose groceries. No worries. We'll see you soon, Bjark. See you soon. Alrighty. Hey. Walked into that one, you most certainly did. I have learned after many times of being punked 
that when someone mentions favorite anything, to not assume that it is me. <laughs> Lord, so many pranks. And I'm like, aha, can't get me, nanana. -na. Yep, it's great. <laughs> Ooh! When was the last time you updated, Sam? I haven't thought of that one. It's the Monster Book of Pranks! <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, yes, of course you can! Absolutely! There you go. I would just like to very gently point out that we are two Instagram followers away from 1100. Uh, have you ever killed someone by jumping off an edge while they were on your mount? Probably accidentally. Back when, um, god damn it, this is what I get for not paying attention. Um, there was, there was a time, um, way back when, where if you got dismounted from somebody else's flying mount that you just, like, fall to death. Nowadays, like, so if, what, I, what I'm talking about, like, is if you're, uh, on a, on a shared mount and then you're, like, flying through the air, and you cross over into a different zone, and that zone is uh, phased for some reason, and you get split into two different phases, the person who's on the back of your mount gets kicked off. It used to be that they just fall to their death, um, and I've done that many times, um, accidentally, but nowadays they get a parachute, and they slowly glide down, and you can kind of go back and grab them, and they can, like, jump back on, and you can try to figure out what happened, but, um... It's quite entertaining. Uh, I don't think I've ever done that on purpose, though. Usually if someone's on my mount, it's because I'm helping them do something or they're helping me do something, and killing them just makes whatever we're trying to do take more time, and that just pisses me off. So, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely a let's get this shit over with person rather than a <laughs> pranks bro kind of person. Um... Yeah. Uh, what is happening with your keyboard? Is you it every press? What is that, a macro or something? It is. Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. GSE. Macros on crack! I, uh, my brain doesn't work in a way, like, my memory doesn't work in a way to allow me to retain, uh, 36, soon to be 38 rotations. Um, so I use GSE and it's, uh, you can get multi-button macros, but what I tend to go for are one-button macros. They're not as good as playing the class properly, uh, but it gets, it gets me through, it gets me where I need to go, um, without being a draw, like a drag on other people. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm thankful that a tool like that exists. Um, um, hello gamer! Welcome on in, hope you're having a fantastic day. Click! There we go. Aw, oh, thank you! Much appreciated! Oh my goodness, guys, 1,099. What the hell? A while back, where we hit 1,000, and it was this, like, oh my god, it was a huge big deal. Um, I'm, obviously, I'm a content creator, this is what I do. And I'm uh, doing my best to to do the grind. I want to go full time. For you. I want to be a full time content creator, and to do that, I need to be able to pay my bills. And to be able to pay my bills, I mean, obviously, I appreciate 
subs, like subs and and cheers and donations and all that kind of stuff are absolutely amazing but i would prefer not to make my money off the backs of you guys i'd prefer to get sponsorships and stuff and so a larger social media following leads to uh more not not just more sponsorships but higher paying sponsorships because the more like the larger your reach the more they think you are worth uh, so that's that's what I'm aiming for here at the moment is trying to grow that reach so that I can grow uh, my sponsorship pool so that I can eventually, fingers crossed, become a full time content creator. And I know it doesn't I know it doesn't seem like much, but every follow counts. And so I appreciate you all so much. You're all amazing. Thank you. Uh, and I've been losing a lot of followers lately because I've started. Um, reporting comments and stuff as spam like I get a lot of promote it on blah 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 or that kind of crap so I've actually been reporting them as spam um and I've been getting a lot of like I'll get someone follows me and then two or three days later will send me a dm asking me to be asking to be there my sugar daddy and I'm like no so I block them uh which also makes me lose them as a follower so it's <laughs> but I'd rather good quality follows not shitty fucking spam bots and scammers so you know <laughs> the grind is real the grind is real ah oh my god oh holy shit there you go we s i i went straight from 10.99 to 11.01 my god thank you holy shit oh my god oh my god seeker wants to what seeker wanted me to get to um after 1000 seeker wanted me to get to 11.11 because it's like the 1111 but like hey 1,100 is shiny. huge. Bear has a shiny. Thank you. Bear got the shiny. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I um I filled out a, a, a request form the other day. Not a, not a request form, like an application form for a, a thing the other day. And it asked me how many followers I had on all these different profiles. And I had 1,092 followers on Instagram at the time. So I've now lied on an application form. Um, oops, but I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they verify that info. They just kind of use that info as like screening people out or in or whatever, and then go and verify it. But that's, oh my God, that's amazing. You guys, thank you so much. <sighs> Can't stop, won't stop. We're going to keep pushing. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, bedtime zone for me. See you tomorrow for leveling. Yes. Wait. Yes. Actually, we might. I, I want to do Mount Fun Monday, but I also feel like I should just level. I also may be raiding tomorrow to get that last little bit done for um, the faded raids. God, tomorrow's going to be a mess. Look, we'll see how we go. Here we go. I'll make the decision. It, as it stands, it's Mount Fun Monday, but I'll, I'll see how we go. We'll see what mounts are available to us tomorrow and make a decision on that. It's called being a druid. Oh dear, I think it's a quest or something you need to do to get the two-seater mount form, something like that. Huh? Druids have a two-seater mount form? No, they just have like their their moose you can ride on their back. Regardless, I don't think that's a quest, is it? Or maybe it used to be? I don't know how to jump off edge and I jump back and then with friends because they don't take it as bad. Oh no. Ah, oh dear. Instagram. Yes! Only 12 to go for next goal. Yeah, for your goal, Seeker. It's some, it, it still blows my mind that other people have goals for my socials. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. I applied for another gig today. With GGWP. So we'll see how that goes. 1100. Yay! Then 1234. I mean, yeah. Eventually, like, the... the, the okay. 1k was the first big, big, big goal. The second, the next big, big, big goal is 3k. Um, 3k is when there's a whole lot of, um, there are a whole lot of, like, uh, websites that, it's kind of like creator marketplaces, right? So, uh, like GGWP, except specifically for Instagram. Um, and those kind of platforms, oh, you can goodness. only apply to them if you've got 3k plus. So uh, 3k is the next really big one because that's when I can start properly monetizing that feed and make the income so I can go full time. Uh, but that's a ways off. And so you celebrate the little victories. 
And then finally, yay! Amazing. Amazing. Shiny. You skipped the 11 round number? I did, Jack, apparently. Apparently, although no doubt by the time I wake up tomorrow, uh, one of the spam bots will have realized that I've, like, deleted their comments and they'll probably unfollow me. So it's fine. 11 isn't even, though. 11, 11 is a cool number, though. It is. So it's one, two, three, four, also ten, twenty-four. What's the next goal after one, 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 one? Next big goal is three, one, four, two. Look, that's there. Are 100, 142 people is a big number between three k and three, one, four, two. Ah, oh, dear. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Show about the seed amount for if you put on the open. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Fair. gonna get there you guys i'm gonna be a full-time content creator and it's just gonna be like everything is life goals. stop that stop that there we go pick the numbers <laughs> oh seeker The big chunky milestones are like 1k, 3k, 10k. 3k is when you can start monetizing, 10k is when you have access to some like extra features on the platform. Like the whole like swipe up to visit my link. Your skills will lead us to victory. In a story, instead of having to have the Twitch button, I can kind of just say swipe up to join us and you can swipe up and the stream will be there kind of thing. Like th those sort of, yeah, that's that's 10k additional features Do I know uh, you? also when you can apply for verification but that is a very long way off <laughs> 3142 is pie though I do like pie I think I might take a leaf from your book and heat up my heat pack for my neck never remember to do it and sit here in agony instead like a damn fool um so Originally, when I was complaining about it, Jas was like, do you want me to get the heat pack? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's a thing. Thank the light I found you. I must speak with you at once. A pie. I mean, apparently Jack has I pie. Now I want pie. I like pie. Most I like pie. Not pie, but food. Well, this tune's done. Ah, oh, she's 56 and I didn't update the spreadsheet. Whoops. 61, 68. Still one day behind. Doing pretty well though. Back to hood tunes.
the thing around your neck. It's a heat pack. Because I'm I'm in pain. <laughs> I did something weird to my neck. Uh, I think I must have slept on it funny, and now it just hurts. So yeah, it's a heat pack. <laughs> Cherry pie specifically. Ooh, yum. That lemon meringue pie. It's a good one too. That old army attack, yas. And the sour cherries, crusty sugar coating on top, yum. Mm. There we go, my dress, beautiful. If you're looking for something different to do, try to complete some of the more unusual achievements. Or you can level 50 tunes to 60, you know, your call. Cool. You can hurt yourself while sleeping. Yeah, look, I'm an old. It happens, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, excuse me. This is missing FFA. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of like, I don't usually like saying stuff because like... Making cheese this week? Yes. Yes, you are. Holy cow. How far away is... I'm not sure I want to ask this question, actually. Where are we? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Holy cow. Holy cow. Seven weeks from now, PAX will be over. And I'll be lying, most likely dead, in my hotel or at an after party of some kind, depending. Holy cow. She, this is this is the thing. You gotta you gotta prepare yourself for the post-con blues. It's a, it's real, it is a thing, and it happens every year. It's kind of like if you've ever been uh if you've ever done kind of performing arts uh, when you were in school or whatever, and it's just so exciting and oh my god, like everything's great, and then um, and then like you put all this effort in and you practice and you practice and you practice and then you do the, the shows and then afterwards it's like, oh, there's no more. It's done. It's, it's over. Same things happens with packs. Same thing happens with like conventions. There's all this build up and all this excitement and all these plans and you're going to see all these people and learn all this stuff and play all these games and it's going to be amazing and then it's over. Highly recommend... You will find something after packs that's in the calendar to to get you through because the the post con blues I have found personally are a lot easier to get through if you have something else still coming to look forward to. And I mean that's the same with literally anything, but um yeah, post con blues are real. Mm, VidCon was totally not prepared for the post con blues. It is it's so real, hey. It is so full on, especially like when it's a full on, like a three day weekend and it's a whirlwind of everything all happening at once. The day flies by because you're having so much fun and then it's done. And it's over. Welcome to the yep. end. It's real. Oh, well done, Sika. Remember that time you went all in and lost it all? <laughs> oh no. You were 17, my friends. It was rough when it ended. It was a sobbing mess. Yep. Yep. And geez, we know I'm emotional AF always. This is this is the problem, Seeker. You're coming for a day, right? So when you're done at the end of Saturday, we've all still got a day to go. And so that's going to be even more rough. Because, like, and I'm, I'm not saying, like, ha, 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 you should have booked. No, 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 not, not at all. Not at all. But genuinely, 
it it will it will be rough it will hit you and it, it may not hit you until like halfway through the next day when you're seeing all this kind of stuff being posted and you're like oh it's shit okay <laughs> but yeah just just get get y'all prepared for that cuz um it's not it's not easy to deal with it's not easy to deal with I feel like jet lag usually go to events for one day um it doesn't it doesn't feel like jet lag it's not a tiring thing it's it's literally a sad thing it's I was looking forward to this and there was all these months of build up and now it's over. And you feel an emptiness because it's done, it's finished. All that time and effort and excitement and hype and energy and it's gone. It's done. It's over. It's happened. It's done. It, it has this kind of like, what have I got to look forward to next? Um. I got to do all these awesome, awesome things. I can't do them tomorrow, and I can't do them next week. And there were also these other things that I didn't get to do, possibly, depending on how much you try to put on your schedule. Don't try to overpack your schedule, because you want time to just not do anything and to just kind of explore and stuff. Definitely. Um, people you wanted to meet and you didn't get to meet. Food you wanted to try and didn't get to try. Games you wanted to test and didn't get to test because the queues were like an hour and a half long. Uh, all that kind of stuff, like it's it, it's full on. It's real full on. I heard all the cool people are just doing Saturday. I'm working, so look. <laughs> I'm there all three days for every reason. I have really done big cons or all Gen Con in the US so the post con blues seem to be mostly buried by jet lag, fair. Fair. Something happens for weddings, yeah. I mean, at least for, for the couple, you know, you've got, potentially honeymoon and all that kind of stuff to also look forward to. But yeah, it's that whole kind of, there was all this excitement and it was this different time, blah, blah, blah. And now I have to go back to the, the regular grind, but I also don't have all that excitement to look forward to. Uh, bloody Virgin changed my flats on Friday morning too. Went from arriving at 7.35 to 9.05 to deal with traffic from the airport. Oh no. Well, look, on the bright side, people don't usually fly in on a Friday morning. Usually they're flying out on a Friday afternoon. Overpack schedule, got it. Okay, yeah, sure, enjoy that. <clears throat> In enjoy yourself. But yeah, I'm, um... Oh boy. I will, I'm planning to subsist essentially on, uh... Sugar and go-go. And adrenaline, and then on Sunday night... Like if there's if there's some kind of networking event or something like a, a an after party, the <laughs> I I have a couple event of events that I've I'm booked to to go to, um but they're not like one of them's on Thursday night so day zero, and one of them's on Friday night. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm. Look, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. <clears throat> Getting very hyped about bubble tea! Yes. Yes, all of the bubble tea. Full sugar bubble tea, please. I'm gonna goddamn need it. And if I look like shit, don't tell me. <laughs> I know I'm gonna look I'm gonna look tired as hell. I don't wanna know. Filters on photos are appreciated. <laughs> You so long without drinking bubble tea. Magic. Stubbornness. Probably stubbornness.
fucking man. Another box. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Well done, them. That's a ding. 55. 6188. And we are up to date, baby. We have reached the 21st of August. Hell yes. No, oh, once I realized it was a thing for me to have not had it holding out with all the discussion has been tough. The idea of having it for the first time with you lot seems fun. Beautiful. I have to check the route from hotel to um How do you to convention center and see if we can like get one on the way. <laughs> You'll never forget your first. Especially you'd you'd never gonna get you never forget pfft, let's try this again. You're never gonna forget your first, especially honest with this bitch. We're gonna, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Keeping up with your rituals. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Seeker order first as well because I don't want, I don't want her order to be like influenced by whatever I'm feeling like on the day either. Still talking about tea. I know, I know, but I was, I was, def I was also talking about tea, but my brain was thinking about not tea. That's why I was laughing. <laughs> and I was like, how do I say this without people taking it and making it sexual? I'm like, you can't, just say it. I'm like, okay, fine. So I did. I never forget much. Look, this is, this is why I have Jas and Sika and Shiba. Look, they, like, I forget everything, and they do not let me forget anything. Hello, Ispin. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. God has brought you to me. What did person done when I got bubble tea? She just ordered the same as me. That's kind of, like, this is the thing. I don't want Seeker to be just like, oh, I'll just have what you're having. Nuh uh, nuh uh. Nuh. You gotta, you gotta, like, make your own choices. Be your own woman, and then, and then I'll make my order. Black tea sure, that was great because I like black tea, of course. Of course. Yeah, I often go for green tea with fruit just because the green tea flavor is a lot more mild. But if it's milk tea, I tend to go black because it kind of holds its own again. It doesn't just taste like milk. Yeah. No. Jesus, that's that's early. <laughs> oh no. One that was strange. I've had tiger milk before. Tiger milk. Neither of I. <laughs> Neither of I. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that means. I is it like tiger bread? Like it's like a fun name for something, or is it I 
I am a confuse. Do you not milk the own sick? Oh my god. Could be like soy make from tiger nut. That's what I'm thinking. Like that's more likely than anything else, I think. Chocolate around the cup. Okay. Menu. Peach milk, coconut milk, chocolate milk, lychee milk, lychee fruit, matcha milk, taro milk, Thai milk, Okinawa milk, watermelon milk. Pearl milk, pudding and pearl and herbal jelly. Mini pearl, herbal jelly, oolong milk, lychee jelly milk, pudding milk. Bean and pearl milk. The fuck is a pog? <laughs> Fruit tea, pog. P O G. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, like passion orange grapefruit, but um, that's interesting. There you go, yeah, tiger milk tea, tiger fresh milk, tiger fresh milk with Oreo, tiger mango <laughs> fresh, and then tiger matcha fresh milk tea. It does look like that. It... Was it, did it taste like chocolate or did it taste just kind of sweet? Because to me, it looks like it could be brown sugar, like brown sugar syrup, because that, like, bubble tea goes very heavy with the brown sugar syrup. Pineapple, apple, guava, but it's pog, not pag. <laughs> yeah, it just tastes sweeter. I'd say it'd be, and it had kind of a caramelly, like caramelized, almost slightly burnt kind, but not not actually burnt burnt. It would have been brown sugar syrup, I think. But yeah, it's it looks really cool. It looks really, really cool on the picture. Um, but I would say that that's probably what it is. That's really cool though. But yeah, it's, it's a pog tea. <laughs> I feel like I need to photo of it and put it on the Instagrams because pog. Anyway, um, I'm supposed to be a Twitch streamer, so, like, I'm supposed to know what this shit means, right? Krugan, Paul, Lap, uh, Silver Molly, Sand, Zam, and Dunno. Congratulations to all of you and your bonus shit. Well done. Pog is a Hawaiian thing. Oh, okay. Um. The next summer, fantastic. Well, best of luck. I hope you can. I hope you reach your goals. Looks like Tiger Stripes. That's, Yeah sense makes me feel less like spewing feel like I want jelly and boba I mean you can you can absolutely do that both in the same cup if you want to it is entirely up to you Pog is a Hawaiian thing pomegranate maybe it was p dot o dot g dot so like yeah it's it's interesting it's interesting oh I just placed the, that one so I can't do it again um, this one. Um, Pog juice is a bright breezy drink from the Hawaiian Islands. Passion orange and guava juice. I was close. I said grapefruit, but that was bloody close. Those three juice combo are so popular across Hawaii. You'll find Pog flavored sodas, cocktail smoothies, and even popsicles. False advertising then. I still haven't drunk Tiger Milk. Correct. Correct. Although I'm not sure you'd want to. Be a bit strange. More battle plans, please. Can do. Give me just a second. And I will drop those for you. Go. Right, okay. Um Brutal is there. I feel like I've done this before. I distinctly feel like I have done this before. Bubble tea. Search here. There is one on the way. And they don't open till midday, so they're shit. <laughs> um...
There's one... Uh, is that in... It is in Crown. They also open at 12, so they're also shit. Uh, there's one further, like, down past Pax that has a neon in the window that says Bubble Tea 24-7. But in the open now, it says they're open from midday to 2am, you bastards. Why would you lie to me with a neon light? That's just... I mean, the store is called Teaser, but still. <laughs> Assholes. It says 24-7. Maybe they couldn't put 24-7 on Google, but that doesn't that doesn't make right. Teaser South Bank is Melbourne's first 24-7 bubble tea experience. We serve a wide variety of the yummiest teas. I reckon this is probably where we're going to go. Because they're going to be the only ones that are open at 9 in the fucking morning. Because PAX starts at 9. Or the Expo Hulk starts at like 9 or 10 or whatever the fuck it is. So it's like an early morning. For me. These don't look too bad though. That sounds like dying. Um, <laughs> and the one across the river. Oh, there is. Yeah, there's there's a handful around the way, but um, I'm trying to find one that's like on the way, so I don't have to go too far out of my way and get up even fucking earlier. But um, this one looks like it's the one. It's 24/7, so like no matter time of day or night, I can drop in and get my bubble tea fix. Bubble tea on Friday or Saturday on Sunday and swing past. Is that really what you want, though, Seeker? Or do you want your first experience to be shared? Like, do you know? Not not to say we're going to share drinks, but do you know what I mean? You know? Like, yeah, there was one, there was supposed to be one in the DFO across from the convention center. But this one is closer to the entrance of the, con of the convention center. At least the entrance close to the city. The one next to uh, Crown. The, the menu looks kind of interesting, but, um... I'm sorry, does that say 1,000 mil? Good. It's called a lemon bomber. Black tea, whole lemon, 1,000 mil. $7.20. I'll fucking take it. I would add some toppings to it, but I will take it. I don't have just like coconut jelly. It's a weird one. Interesting, but strange. I think it might, this one must be a little more um, like traditional. They've got rainbow jelly, which is like your big traditional, but um, hmm. They have popping, popping pearls as well, but not just like coconut jelly. I love me a coconut jelly. Hello, Adnan. Welcome back. Mm. There is a char time, but it's all the, like, there's a crap load of bubble tea joints, but they're all in the other half of the city. They're not down next to the other place. <laughs> well done, Jared. Welcome back. I'm doing well, thank you, Adnan. Doing well. Hope you can say the same. Mess it up. You did. You did.
It's not my forte. Noted. Noted. This is forte Chris. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's hilarious. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Whispers dance on the wind. Okay. Life, hope you're well as well. I'm about the same. I am hella busy with life and I've been so unwell this weekend that everything is just not done. And so this week is going to be a clusterfuck. But I mean, what is new with my life, genuinely? <laughs> what What is new? We're all just meat for the way. What is new? You look ugly. That button. Am I actually gonna get? I wonder if I can finish this tune in twenty minutes. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. How fair your battles. How did you get that? I've been feeling flat for the last couple of weeks. You have not much energy at all. Yeah, I um. I, I was not at all, like I spent most of yesterday in bed. I got up and did some leveling and then was like, and so I went in bed and had another nap and then got up and did a bit more leveling and then went to bed and slept. Like I was just, just not, not healthy. Um, and today has been better, but still not great. Um, but that's, look, it's fine. Um, I know I've been working so hard and I just have not given myself a moment to breathe for a while so I knew it was coming burnout hits and it hits hard um but at least it was just like mostly physical and not really mental like I'm not I'm not bored of it I'm not like over it there's none of that kind of stuff it's just that I needed to I needed to take a day to just rest Back on it. No, that's this morning. Um, that, my neck was fine yesterday, but I think I slept on it funny last night. Um, because I can't, like, there are certain angles that it just hurts. So I'm, yeah, hate back. Uh, remember to take care of yourself. I know, right? I do my best. I do my best, but, um, sometimes taking care of myself also takes energy. Um, so it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a balancing act, and... Given how many things I kind of have on the go at the moment, I've been working my ass off. I wanna, I wanna go full time, and so I'm kind of um, taking on as many opportunities as I can, and and trying to stay connected to as many people as I can who are, you know, like in the industry and stuff like that, to sort of get my name out there and get myself out there, because eventually it's gonna get to a point where I can to can start to say no to people because it's just too much happening. But I'm not at that point yet. I kinda, I need to take on as many opportunities as I can. I just need to make sure that I can physically do it. Um, so yeah, I've got, uh, we've got sponsor stream on Friday, which is amazing. I have something in the mail on its way that I cannot talk about yet. And I've got a couple of other things that I've kind of stuck my hand up for uh so like pending information there so yeah it's um everything is happening and i'm so excited about all of it uh it's just getting whew. yeah i need to I need to sit and catch a fuck man oh no new friends been my friend yeah i took some ibuprofen earlier today um because i yeah i was just like mm, i need this uh, and it hasn't quite unstuck yet, but I have a feeling it's just one of those things I'm just going to have to let kind of, you know, help it along its way as much as I can, but I'm not going to be able to fix it myself. 
I just have to let it take its time. Hello, Minnie. I'm doing well. I hope you can say the same. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm a total seller. No, I'm kidding. I'm not. You know, I would like. I actually turned down a pretty chunky uh, thing just recently, um, and I I was I was honest to god tossing and turning about this. I was about ready to say yes, and then as I had the draft of the email done, I was like, I can't, I can't do this. I just have this feeling in my stomach that it's not the right thing. Uh, and so I ended up saying, look, I'm really sorry, but I, I can't. It just doesn't, it just doesn't fit. It doesn't work. Um, which was like, it was a really, and that's the first time I've had a proper, I mean, like I've gotten plenty of DMs and stuff from, you know, companies wanting to sell me their shitty overpriced jewelry um, to post on my Instagram or just, you know, really dodgy sort of stuff where you go, mm, this is not legit. Um, but this is, this is the first time where I knew it was a legit company and I knew that it could have been an, like, it could have been an ongoing relationship and all this kind of stuff. Like, I knew, I knew that it could have been quite profitable, uh, but I just, I couldn't bring myself to do it. Um, and so I said no. Especially when I'm right on this cusp of being able to, oh boy, yeah, no, that was a, that was a rough one. But as soon as I sent the email, I felt relieved, so I knew I, I made the right decision. And <laughs> I was not Rage Shadow Legends. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. For some reason. Oh, no. Oh, no, Minnie. I'm so sorry to hear that. Was that the one you discussed? It was. It was, yeah. yeah. I, um... It was, it was something that we as a stream community had talked about before and I, I like, it was eating me up enough because you know my memory's kind of trash, um, but it was kind of, I, I felt uncomfortable enough about it that I went through a whole bunch of VODs to find, because I knew roughly when we had spoken of, like roughly, but I went through and, and watched a few hours worth of VOD on like double speed looking for the time where we actually chatted about it and I found it. And listening back to my words, I'm like, I still believe what I said. It's not a situation where I changed my mind, because that's, that's valid, you know? Sometimes you feel a certain way and then you get additional info and you change your mind and that's okay. And if that had been the case, I would have been more than happy to, to take the sponsorship and explain, like, this is why this, you know, I know I said, I, I know I have said this, but now this and da 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 da, like I've, you know, but it was stuff I still believed in. And I found myself kind of nodding along, watching the VOD, and I'm like, I, I can't do this. I can't do this. Um, so I said no. This is a copy place you turned down to. Yeah, but that was never, I was never going to go with that. Like, that was not even a consideration. Um, I mean, like, I have kind of thought a couple of times, well, I mean, it's going to suit some of my streaming, but I can't vouch for the product. Like, if Jas could vouch for it. If it was something that Jas, like for example, if it was a if it was a men's hair care brand, right? I could do that. I don't have men's hair, but I do have a man available who could test it out for me and give me his opinions and and all that. Do you know what I mean? And I could have him be a part of the content if he so desired. I would obviously also compensate him for that. But um, like, but it wasn't. Neither of us drink coffee. So that that wasn't a difficult decision for me. It was it was kind of like a uh, you know maybe I should do this just so that people have a discount coffee like a, a discount code for coffee and stuff. But it was not really a this one was a proper like and it wasn't just an affiliate program. It was a sponsorship. It was cash up front, and that's that. I think it was kind of like you know do I do I take this from a legitimate company? add them to my resume, like add them to my CV and get paid, which helps me on my way to full time. Or do I go with my gut and say no? And so I went with my gut and said no. But it's, yeah, it's a really like, it's, it's a really difficult position to be in. I never thought, like I, I genuinely thought it's going to be either oh my god this is such a great fit for me and my community or mm, no that's not really going to work for me because it's not something that i believe in or use or whatever 
But this was like, good God, it was tough. I've never had anything like that. And I hope I don't have anything like that for a good long, good long while. But they were amazing about it. They were like, because it was through a PR company. And I was like, you know, I hope I get the chance to work with you in future, regardless of this. And they're like, oh no, absolutely. Totally get that it's not the right fit for you. I would never want you to work on something that you don't feel good with. And I'm, I was like, oh, thank God. So yeah, even whether or not they were just saying that to placate me, I don't know, but it was it was good to know that I hadn't completely like shot myself in the foot with regards to a potential PR connection. Um, there's honestly nothing wrong with selling out, providing it stays within your morals. That's that's the thing. Yeah, no, I and I I firmly believe that as well. Like you guys, you bet your ass. If I get a sponsorship that fits with us, I'm taking it. <laughs> Honey, I need the money. I I need to I need to pay my bills, and I want to do this full time. Like. I, I want to do this full time, and to do that, I'm going to need to take sponsorships. Uh, but it ju it just didn't sit right. It just didn't sit right. Configuration means you have to sell out. Correct. I have to sell like technically, I'm selling you guys. <laughs> We've had this conversation before. What I what I'm selling is access to my community um, because I've built that community and I've built like that that social reach. And I've built that trust. And so what they are purchasing is access to that trust and access to that community in the hopes that some of that community will pay for my sponsorship payments. <laughs> Big thing well done. Yeah, it was it was not fun. <laughs> but I, I did, like, as soon as I hit, hit send and kind of went, I was like, oh, cool. No, I made the right decision then. Means sell out like a brand content, you may have advertising things. Up to you to determine whether you feel it's on brand for you, sponsorship makeup, which is 100% on brand for you. Yes. By the way, guys, if you are in Sydney, why haven't you booked into the Logitech and Maybelline pop up yet? Do the thing. Make it successful enough that they bring it to me in Brisbane. <laughs> or, or order packs in Melbourne. I'd like that too. Hello, Glota. It's really like, aw, thank you. It's so nice to have you here with us in chat. Welcome on in. I'm glad you found us. Sorry, I'm a little bit behind on chat because I've been ranting. My apologies. <laughs> um, yes, you can have Jess's hair and have men's hair in your possession. I'm not, look, I would never do that. That's like assault. Isn't that actually like assault these days? Because they, they've, I know that there's been um, like, teenage idiots in high school and stuff cutting off people's hair without them knowing and things like it's it's bodily assault now isn't it or am i is that maybe just in certain parts of america or something mm. hello sass welcome back what's new uh nothing much just leveling and pain and tired <laughs> it's, it's it's look we've all been here before i hope you're doing really well sass welcome back so this is gonna be generally just asking him is the easier path yeah right exactly Yes, I'm now imagining Yoro doing the same to you. If I ever grow a mullet, that will 100% happen. I've asked many times, but that's a hard no. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Mullets. Yeah, nope. Uh, not enough mullet. Late, far too late 90s. Uh, a hard no. Exactly. No consent means no do. Shit, you weren't supposed to see that. He's a mod. Of course he's here. He's just running keys. Use that chest room earlier. Ah, uh, maybe. I think I did. I had two, and I think I used both. So to go for a walk. I did, yeah, yeah. And then I went up to check to ask Jas if he had indeed roasted cucumber. Um, so I used both of them. So I was in the salt. I was just shushing. Okay, cool. I thought I I knew I knew you were joking around, but like I also wanted to verify if my belief in that was actually correct. I couldn't remember. Because it's fairly recent, like, okay, not recent as in, like, three months, but that's fairly recent in terms of my lifetime that that's actually changed. I mean, I jumped into bat fam immediately. Yeah, beautiful. Amazing. But, yeah, no, like, I, I love that, um, so I... The, 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 the Logitech and Maybelline thing... Um, I got an email from my contact being like, Fia, look at this! And I'm like, no way, that's amazing! And then shared it on Twitter and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, I wish I could go, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, oh, no, we know, we know it's not in your state, but we wanted to tell you before you saw it on socials because we know it's, like, right up your alley. And I'm like, it just... It's 
just so sweet, you know. I love that I have this kind of connection with, like, people I work with. It just, oh my god, it's a lovely feeling. You hear, like, in the entertainment, because like, we are in the entertainment industry, that's that's what we do. We're just in a very, very specific niche of the, of the um, or niche or whatever the fuck you want to, however, however you pronounce it. Very specific niche of the entertainment community, but that's what we do, right? And so you always, you hear so much about, like, diva antics and all this kind of stuff. I do, I try so hard to make sure that that is not at all what, like, how I am to work with. Because I just, like, oh my god, I want everyone to like me and to give me work. <laughs> like, that's, that's basically it. Basically it. Um, hello Zeno, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well today. A nice guy, no need for the band. Let's smile. Yep, that's it. I've noticed your numbers have been increasing since we're watching the release. Just excited to see. Oh, hell yeah. It's, I am, whew. Yeah, it, it's feeling good. I'm, uh, I feel like I'm heading in the right direction. I, like, I, I really do. Um, like the the types of things like the types of bits and pieces that people have been reaching out to me with have just felt right and uh like it's just yeah yeah it's it's feeling good and the kinds of opportunities that are like especially um i don't know if you guys jared you and yori are on ggwp if you're not please use my referral link how dare you um <laughs> you need to be, by the way, you need to be on there. Um, but, like, the stuff that they've been coming up with, like, the, the gigs that have been popping up with them, have just, like, they've been rocking. Like, they're just so good. And so many of them really connect with, like, me and my brand and stuff. And it just, it feels like a really good... Yeah. Everything feels really good. Um, very rarely ban people have to be complete noodles. Yes, complete noodles. I love that as an insult. That's beautiful. Ah, oh, the queen is popping off. Truly so deserved. Thank you, chum. Oh my god. I'm, I think the big difference is that I'm starting to feel like, yeah, I do deserve this. And that has just made such a huge difference to, like, the energy that I'm, you know, the energy you're putting out there and then what comes back and, yeah, all that the wine thing through them too? No. So the wine thing was through an app called Influencer. Um, that's not paid. That's free product in exchange for a review. Uh, the post is optional, but there is a chance of like winning stuff. Um, like it, like they pick out the top X number of posts and they pay you for that. Um, and then the one this morning for the chips. Same thing, different app. Social Soup. That was from uh, Social Soup, with another, which is another app where um, free product in exchange for review. And with a social post, their top three get picked. And uh, you guys remember a while back I did a um, the thing with the chips uh, and I had the photo with the, like, the multi-pack and the Christmas tree in the background and stuff. Um, and that was one through Social Soup and I won one of those ones. And so they gave, there was a hundred bucks gift card, like a Visa gift card. Um, so that paid for groceries for a couple weeks. So, <laughs> you know, it's it's small, but it all adds up. So yeah, that's Social Soup is that same app, and then Influenced is a different one. But it's the same stuff. It's free product in exchange for review and content, potentially. Um, uh, and GGWP does stuff like that. Um, occasionally you'll get something that comes up that is um, product in exchange for post. Um, and then there are other ones that are paid. Like, they'll pay you, and you get... And then, and then you you to promote them, um, and then other ones are things like you don't get paid at all, but it's a charity thing. Um, so they're looking for people through that, but they're all tagged. Like they've got little tags underneath each gig that tell you what kind of gig it is, so that you can make a decision um, whether or not it's right for you, which is good. And of course, you you go and search your um, uh, you go and Google them, and you do research into the brand and figure out if it's right for you before you take anything. Um, Generally my job. Chips. Yeah, this morning's post. It went up today. Cool noodle, just a whiff of poo and he smacks down. 
Some welcoming space. Can we get back? We give out, which is good vibes. Yes. Look, I try. I do my absolute best. Sometimes shit goes down, and I'm I'm okay. off. And so what I put out is off. And you know, we're we're human. And like, just because I'm a, a content, you know, I can't. Some content creators, if they're having a bad day and they realize that they're scowling or something, they can edit that out and they can just, whatever they put up is like curated. I can't really do that, especially when I'm live because, you know, anything and everything that plays across my face, you can see it. So, you know, if I have a, a tosser come in here and say something shit and, you know, it does get to me. It's not, it's not all water off a duck's back. Uh, I am human. I have feelings and sometimes those feelings get hurt. Uh, and so, you know, sometimes I do get into a bit of a sour mood, uh, but for the most part, when that kind of thing happens, I get, somewhere. it hurts, but then, like, every response after that, being like, what the fuck are you even on, bro? Like, you know, what's going on here? Makes me realize just how amazing and awesome my community is, and that usually pulls me out of the funk pretty damn quickly. So I'm incredibly thankful that I have you lot here as well. I love today's post. Oh, good! I'm so that you can thank Jas for that. That's a Jas shot. As you, of course, it bloody is. Who the hell else? To <laughs> for a fight. Yeah, that's that's Jas. Although there have been a couple of photos that are of me that I actually set up a, a tripod and took photo because I, I couldn't, you know, didn't have time to wait for Jas to get home or whatever. But yeah, no, that was a Jas yeah. shot. I really liked it too. You be human and react accordingly. I know, right? How dare I? Anything and everything, all of the time. Yep. Sometimes you do indeed. Other times you don't react when you probably should and the professionalism astounds me. I have, for better or for worse, decades of experience masking. I have had some form of depression for decades. And uh, I've gotten real used to not letting people see that because it tends to weird people out or make them uncomfortable or, or whatever it happens to be, especially if they don't know how to handle that because they've never experienced it. And that, you know, I understand that. And uh, and so I've gotten really, really good at being like, yeah, I'm great. Yeah. So <laughs> um, there, have, there have been times that I have streamed when I have been incredibly not okay. Incredibly not okay. Um, but I've done it because I don't want to explain, not that I have to, not that anyone is entitled to anything, but I don't want to have to explain why I'm taking it off. Um, I don't want people telling me that they hope I'm okay. I know that comes from a good place, but sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you just don't want any kind of sympathy or empathy or pity or any, you just, you just, no, no. <laughs> um... So I've gone, you know what, fuck it, and I've gotten through it. And sometimes that's been beneficial. Sometimes I've popped the mask on, but I've genuinely felt better having faked it for six hours. Sometimes it's exhausting, and I turn the camera off, and I collapse here, and I fall asleep. <laughs> that that bit, that does not happen often. I think that's only happened, like, once. And I, I literally just kind of slowly slumped to the ground and then just kind of lay there for half an hour or so and was like, okay, bedtime. Um, but, like, I feel like we all have moments like that, and the fact that I, I don't necessarily talk about it when it's happening, um, and I don't have to, like, as I said earlier, no one's entitled to anything, and I am entitled to my privacy, uh, and so if I don't want to share something, I don't, but the fact that when I'm ready to later, I feel comfortable sharing that with you guys shows me just how kick-ass this community is. Uh, and there are some things that I will never tell you. And that's okay too. Yeah, it's, um... I think the fact that I'm open with as much as I'm comfortable being open about, and the fact that that much is reasonably large. Like, I, I there are a lot of things that I talk to you guys about that a lot of creators wouldn't because they feel it's too personal and that's okay. They're entitled to that and they, they're allowed to set their boundaries where they want. But because my boundaries are where they are, I feel like that has benefited me uh, in a lot of ways. I think there are, there are, it has definitely uh, hurt me in a lot of ways, having my boundaries where they are. Uh, my boundaries have shifted because of that pain that I've experienced in the past from 
what I thought was my community, you know, and it turned out they weren't, um, like individuals. Uh, but over the years, I've refined where I draw the line on different issues. But because I am open about a lot of my general life, I feel like that has earned me a lot of trust, uh, maybe some respect. Um, but that trust is what allows me to sell you shit. And I know that, like, jumping a mile to the left, but that's literally, like, the, because I'm open about this and because because I'm open and because you can watch me be open and you can read my body language and my, my facial expression, all that kind of stuff, that means that you can then tell when I'm talking about something that I'm passionate about, you know I'm genuinely passionate because you can you can read my face and you can see those similarities in the truth-telling. Uh, and so because I've built that trust, that's why I'm getting these sponsorships. It's why I'm being allowed to put myself forward for opportunities. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a fairly large one that I've stuck my hand up for coming up relatively soon. Relatively soon. Um... And the reason that that one is such a good fit for me is because I've been so open about my mental health. Like, literally, like, directly connected. Um, so, yeah, it's, it is, it's a really, especially as a creator, I know I've got a whole bunch of creators in the community as well, and it is, I, I really strongly recommend that when you go to talk about your life and your experiences that you stop for a second and you really think what am I about to say how do I word this in a way that is not advice that is not instructional um and always 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 make sure you pop those disclaimers in like you know I'm I'm not a mental health professional I'm not your mental health professional there are so many um there are so many resources out there no matter what country you're in there is going to be a resource there if you need help looking for it that is something that we can do is, is help you look. Um, but also that, you know, I'm, I'm talking about my experiences. My, you, your mileage may differ. You know, your experience may vary. But this is what I have experienced and what has worked for me. Um, but, it, it, you know, not just, with, not just with physical and mental health, but, like, anything that you talk about, you've got to be so fucking careful. VODs may disappear in, in 15, 30, 60 days, whatever the fuck it is. But I don't know. Mine, mine are 60 now because I'm partnered. I don't remember what they were before. Um, but the, the VOD may disappear in 60 days. But unless you are checking your clips every fucking night, you have no idea what people have clipped. You don't have to have it. You don't need to make a clip to do a screen recording. Um, like... Yeah, it's yeah. Um, I would I would strongly recommend any person who content creates make a backup of your content. Uh, I've started doing it on, on YouTube now. One of the reasons is because hey, we have a whole library of odds there. Isn't that amazing? Secondly, that takes up less space than you know saving on a goddamn hard drive. God, how many hard drives I'd have by now if I if I'd saved everything for six and a half years. Um, but also, if someone has a screen grab, a screen recording that they've taken of this little section that makes some comment completely out of context, you've got backups that you can go to and expand it and say, actually, here's what I fucking said, you wanker. Um, yeah, it's it's really well and truly worth um, that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's everything, it, the internet is forever. You've got to be goddamn careful what you do and say. Because um, that's how you get death threats and unwanted visitors to your apartment. Sam, Lap, Sand, Mara, Nine, Faye, and Infamous. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. How's that for a fear talk? Uh, we're not doing another battle because it's 10 and I did. I just realized that it's 10. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm going to finish this little section because I'm really close to um, finishing it. But then, yep. Yeah. Uh, right, where was I up to? Act accordingly. Sometimes you do indeed, other times you don't really. This event, all my personalities be robotic. I cannot promise that, I'm sorry. 
try not to feed the trolls with sponsors, usually just settled for the dot dot dot. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, a lot of the time, attention is what they want, and so they just kind of you know, get it whatever way they can, and if you give them the attention, they stick around. Um, but, you yeah, know. Tis what it is. I'm only giving you those Pokemons you needed. Yeah, I'm friendly. Yeah. Baby, do, 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 uh, I'm gonna troubleshooting mode when people share. Yeah, no, I'm I'm the same. I am absolutely the same. Because to me, like, if you're suffering in a situation, don't you want to get out of it? Like, wouldn't that like how, how about we end your suffering? How wouldn't that wouldn't that be wonderful? Here's how you can go about doing that. But then I, I kind of have to be like, mm, no, they just want to rant. It's fine. Um, it's not you know, and and a lot of the time, it's actually not as bad as the person is saying but they want to get it out and they want to bitch and yell and complain and then go, okay, well, it's not actually that bad. And it, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. I absolutely go into problem solving mode all the time. I'm trying to get better at it, but I'm, I'm very bad. Most people are entitled to be treated how you feel you should be treated as well. There are exceptions. Most people are at the very least okay. Most. Most, but it's, um, yeah. The problem is knowing which, uh, w w like, you know, 2% of people might be shit. Which 2%? How do you know that you've met one of the 2%? You don't. That's the problem. It's a problem I have, at least. Um... Remember the first lockdown, we were home with kids. I had one day where I just couldn't. It was after the first 30 days. We were not used to it, both home working full time, two year old and five year old, trying to school the eldest, good lord. The one flopped on the deck in the sun face down for an hour. I just couldn't get up. For hour face down, everything felt a little more possible. You know, yeah, and that's that's it, right? That's it. It's like sometimes you just need to escape for a second. And escaping doesn't always look like playing a video game or physically leaving or it you just you just need to stop. <laughs> Stop. What are you speaking on is a big reason I enjoy staying. Aw, thank you, Lando. I appreciate that. It's awesome. In fact, it can be real. Oh, hell yeah. We call that floor time. Oh, I love that. Probably need more floor time. Me too. Me too. I don't really have much floor, though. So, <laughs> yeah, I was feeling trapped and I was setting up a camping gazebo in the only 3x3 three three meter space in the yard just to have some space. Oh, I love that. curse that really like i mean it's healing receipt but it seems to be doing like a dot as well i probably just can't see the dot actually i'm doing better this time around Actually concentrating in the blanket. I just hate we don't get any loot from him. Just drop me a blue, come on. <laughs> she looked me at a backyard, recognize how lucky we were to have a yard. Must have been really tough. Yeah, so it would not recommend big lockdowns to anyone. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely. Um, use YouTube to back up a lot of the gameplays I at least care about. Yeah, it's it's always good to back, especially if you have like a proper personal chit chat um it's it's a good idea to back them up just i mean look not that you expect anyone to to like you know oh i'm not in like, i know i'm not important enough for somebody to try to ruin my career or some shit right like come on but you never know you just you just never know uh for the last only five days for non-affiliates from september one now fyi Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense, though. Like, the number of people who... So, most non-affiliates are people who have been either streaming for less than a month um, or people who, like, stream once in a blue moon, like, once every couple of months for a friend or something like that. Like, it is... Um, affiliate is is quite achievable. 
if you are consistent for a month, it is it is quite achievable. Uh, and then does it bump it to, f is it 14 days or is it to 30? I can never remember. I just, I never paid attention to my VODs. Like, it, yeah, I do now, but I, I didn't used to. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm on visit department. Did you not have that happen? You did not have that happen to you? Of course I did. Of course. <laughs> Seven days. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Don't only chat. Oh, but we're going... I'm finishing now. It's alright. I'll refund that back to you, dude. You can have the points back. Um, okay. Just over a week with hard work. Yeah, it's... Look... And I, I don't mean to minimize the achievement at all. I do not mean to minimize the achievement or, or the accomplishment or anything like that. Definitely not what I'm aiming to do here. But factually, it's easy to do. You, But you have to focus. You actually have to do it rather than just kind of like, oh, why am I not affiliated yet? You've got to fucking do it. <laughs> you know, as long as you actually do it, you're golden. Um, all right. We're gonna go here. Oh, no, okay. Mind. They're wrapping up. Uh, we're not going to go there. Uh, Uh, okay. I think... Sorry, I'm trying to... It's fine. Alright. Uh, I'm just behind on chat. I, yeah, I know, but I caught up! I caught up! I appreciate it, though, dude. I fell asleep on stream and got affiliated, admittedly. I hope my mic killed trolling, but yeah. Yeah, look. Yeah, look. It, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Here we go. Let's make this quick, shall we? Grab your copy-paste. If you do not have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you are not a subscriber or because you have not unlocked it using your channel points, you, it's okay. You can see either of which are totally fine, by the way. It's totally fine. You can still copy and paste the whole message. Uh, delete the Fiamma hype and replace it with a uh, happy, hypey, celebratory emote, your favorite one. Go for it. Drop it into Hydrax's channel when we get there. Hydrax is doing keys. Surprising nobody. <laughs> Hydrax does, uh, like, viewer keys all the time. Super, super lovely guy. Uh, we're gonna go say hi to him because he's awesome. Tomorrow is technically Mount Farm Monday. We will see. We will see. I may do leveling. We'll see how I feel about it. Um, Wednesday, leveling and raid. We'll see how we go. Uh, Friday is a sponsored stream. We're back to Final Fantasy XIV. I hope that you'll join me for that. I'm so, so keen to dive back into that storyline. Uh, and then next Sunday, we will have a new Dragonflight build, a new Dragonflight alpha build. Um, there are, the people reckon that this is the last alpha build and that next week is going to be a beta, but we'll see. Only one way to find out and that is to wait. Hurry up and wait. Um... Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. If you have those platforms, I would welcome your followers across all of them. All of them are important to grow, to become full-time. I'm right out of time. Good. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. I'll see you tomorrow. All the love. Bye.